<laughs> Outbreak podcast number 12. Some person up there kind of, I don't know when, pointing no. Thought it was number 10, but yeah, again, your host, Tribal Dragons. Good to see you again. And then we've got my co host who's currently up there. He might be there or there. Don't know where I'm going to put him. Mr. Null. Yeah, Mr. Null. And who's, who's our mystery guest this time? Oh, I can hear that sizzling Ooh. bacon. Mm. Hey! <laughs> trying to think of it off my head. I don't know. I, I was like, I, I, I can smell something. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. It's something no, no. no you're Spassy. encroaching on wrestling territory there. <laughs> but, yeah. so that's not The Rock. Of course. We're going to talk about when it Wednesday and try Tuesday because we might be on the horizon of seeing some of those videos return, possibly. Ooh. Two weeks time now? Is it going to be or is it going to be one week? Are you going to surprise the audience? Um, Let's just say, watch this space. It's, it, it's a coming. <laughs> it's Depending a coming. on how, how things go for the rest of this week depends on whether or not it makes a, a massive comeback. It might make a comeback quicker than two weeks. We don't know yet. So I'm, I'm hoping I get to see Bacon and his uh, shoulder charging. His very shoulder abusive charging shoulder charging titan. Hey, hey, shoulder charge is the best strategy. <laughs> it might not work, but it's the best strategy. Do you guys remember Triad Tuesday Warlock going? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bacon of Ezioton trying to shoulder charge you every time. He's oh, going to get it. Out. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'd, I'd mess it up 99 times out of 100, but the one time it works, it's just glorious. The audience, like, What's that? The audience yeah, will what? see this, right? If you actually shoulder charge me or try and do it within a when, when it Wednesday or try a Tuesday, it will be like a, like a Star Wars-y thing, so it'll be like the bacon strikes back. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to get his shoulder touches. To be fair, Rog, if you hit him in the game and he come, I see it on the feed, you'll just hear me go, ah! <laughs> like a crazy He's person. done it! Yeah. He's it's either get that his... or it's a f- it's either that or a five minute compilation of misses. Ali <laughs> <laughs> score in the corner. Missed. Missed again. Missed. Missed again. Oh, and then the, la- the next one, I think there's the last one that was numbered. You had a streak of bacon shoulder charges. Because I remember you shoulder <laughs> charging me on Cauldron because that was a. You were like pre running the doorway and open and I just get instantly killed by a shoulder charge. <laughs> I, think, I think shoulder charge is great. It's a great tool as a title. Yeah. 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 I just think sometimes can... in PvP, it's very can... hard to hit. It gives you that extra mobility in PvE as well. I was like, oh, I'm not going to make it. So, there I am. Done. <laughs> Any jumping yeah. puzzle, you got it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Line mm-hmm. rampants and a shoulder charge, mate. You can't go wrong. You yeah. literally can't go wrong. I prefer Dune Marches. To be fair, and Dune... Yeah, Dune... Yeah, yeah. Dune I, I use Dune Marches. Link in the uh, the electricity melees, yeah. The sick. Because, you know, if you hit a shoulder charge on, like, a group of two, Mm. Possibly the feedback off the do much is potentially could kill them. It's like an arc one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or make them ready, really, really ready for a uh, shotgun shot yeah. in the back. Not, not like I'm an aping shotgun titan. Do any <laughs> of you guys have any highlights for Triad Tuesday? Because I could drop them into the video. I think the only highlight, <laughs> the only highlight I've got is that one game where I was really, really angry and I didn't say anything. Oh, and yeah, I, got like, I think I got like a three or four. With my super, and it's just Steve Crowd, just long. Uh, oh, excuse me? What the hell is that? Oh. Is that doing that? No! Oh, shit, no. Clip it! He just wiped our whole team. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> what were you doing there? <laughs> So I hit the suit because I didn't say anything normally about yeah. I, that's really I know I mentioned that, Warlock Gang as well. Like uh, I threw a Nova at Hazy. I was like, "Sorry, Hazy." I, I come around the corner. Noel's there with a shotgun. He misses his shotgun, and I punch him twice. And he's like, "How? How did I not kill you? I had shotgun." I was like, "Mate, mate, you missed." Fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Hazy. Oh, you're bullying me, and I don't like it. What? How did you take no damage? I punched you. I had a shotgun. You no damage. Missed your what? shotgun shot. Right? <laughs> I missed your shotgun shot. What can I say? You missed so many things because you were against oh. Ollie and uh, you missed a shotgun there as well. And Ollie punched you twice. Oh, mate. 
That has what way with that one, did you? I've got to click that. I've got to click that. I punched you directly in the head, but apparently that didn't count. Fuck off, man. Oh, so oh, I've got ultra instinct. Fucking... I've got ultra instinct. Miss. Sorry. You missed the fucking. You whiffed the shotgun shot. Yeah, awful. you whiffed that melee. You should have killed me. That's a bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Stash but... warlocks are bad. Some of my favorite moments from Triad Tuesday is always when it comes down to me and Hazy. It's like, we're both Titans. It's like, one of us is going to die here, and it's not going to be me. <laughs> and then it turns out it's me. And then I get him the next time round. Is it that is meme it... where you... Is it like you're trying to shoot every time? Oh, that... Kind of, maybe. What's the film called? Yeah, maybe, really, because then he gets really excited. He gets like, really like, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> it just starts off with that. It's like, oh, Hazy, you're the best. I, I, you know what I love? I think over the time that he played with it Wednesday, Hazy got so much better at PvP. Yeah. To the point where sometimes I'd see him and before I'd be like, I'm just going to kill him. And now I'm like, I need to be a little bit more cautious because he may kill me. I, I can't <laughs> yeah. even just press him really hard because he will shoot me. Yeah, I, but, was, I always took part just because it's like, yeah, this seems fun. I'll go for it. I don't care how well or how well I did. <laughs> just like, oh, what's my KD? Oh, it's above one. I'm happy. But I got the aqua title, yeah! Yay! <laughs> it's like, I got the title! Got carried by the other three. <laughs> to be fair, right? So, now, obviously, we've got the new stasis. Mm. Win it Wednesday might take another trip and get more exciting. Yeah, because yeah. That's, that's the thing that I've got a plan for. Yeah, the, the... Oh, does ask. <laughs> I'm I'm intrigued to see what Baker's going to do with the new yeah. <laughs> Titan melee. Before we get uh, copyright, it Megan. kill you when you hit people. It just yeets them really far away. Yeah, it does. It does so it, it is, it's it's great revenge against all those stompy enemies. When you're picking the maps on Win It Wednesday, you need to make sure there are lots of places you can yeet them off the map rather than mm. indoor maps. Yeah. So it's fair for the Titans. Yeah. Indoor might work, because he might get killed by the impact with the yeah, wall. Yeah, if you yeet them into a wall, they're pretty much safe. Or yeet them Potential, the map, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It all depends on where, what, what maps you, what maps are, what maps are chosen. To be fair, it's a fresh it'll be season. one-sided if it's anomaly, because the Titans will win downright. Oh yeah. How can you what do Tomahawks <laughs> or Warlock in anomaly? So just sat, just, put just Titan outside. Gang. <laughs> when when is their next episode? It's gonna be called Titan Gang. We're gonna just play an anomaly for three games. <laughs> <laughs> in the, imagine the craziness just yeeting each other into walls Jesus oh. now, I'm intrigued just to see um, how it's going to pan out the whole uh, the whole yeeting job I find it's really hard to use in Crucible because you yeet people into walls and uh, I was trying to do the Umbra quest last week and it's get me that is and I'm not mm. how when you yeah. press the button and you just yeet them into a wall. So you have to freeze them with a grenade and then yeet them straight away. And then they just die because of you're yeeting them and they don't they don't go anywhere. You actually finish them off, which yeah. I think Bungie need to put something in so you actually kill them on impact. I <clears> wish <throat> like you could actually freeze them with your super and slide into them and kill them, but you can't. Uh, on the Titan, you can if you've got you the can. Uh, you pirate should, yeah. You could just slide yeah, you can. through the ice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like you do your thing, you charge into it, you smash everything. So, literally, I could throw a grenade, it could freeze three enemies, I could just slide into the and just kill them all, I don't even need to shoot yeah. anything. Which is really, really useful, but not very good when you try and slide in in Crucible and everyone just goes, unfrozen, you're just sliding like, shit. Yeah, that's not good. It's not good. <laughs> that's why you charge into them. I've not used it in Crucible yet, but I assume you charge into them and then hilarity ensues. I, I, I do enjoy using stats in Crucible, I'm not going to lie. It does yeah, make your shotgun any faster because you're sliding a lot quicker I, as well. To be fair, I should record the clip the other day. I slid, I, I saw the guy and I slid, and I had the car, I slid past him and turned as I was sliding, so I was right behind him. <laughs> and the guy was sort of just like, Where's he gone? He gone? And I was just like, Bang! Shot him in the back. I was like, Was that yeah. with Fell Winners? <laughs> using Fell Winners, you dirty bastard. How did you know I was using Fell Winners, bro? So I saw you so use using it. <laughs> If you were there yeah, and you Fowl unlocked Winters. it, you only use that shotgun. You, do, you don't use no Mindbenders anymore. Foul Winters, and um, I've been using anything in the heavy slot that I can use. Um, if I do change from that, I go for a sidearm and a sniper. It's really weird, because I can just press people really hard with a sidearm. 
but then I can hit some. Sometimes I can play really well with a sniper, and then other times I can't hit nothing. So, yeah, not the hit and miss for me. I'm getting better with a sniper. Thanks to that good old succession Raid raid sniper. Seen a ghost? Yeah. Oh man, I've never, I've never been good with snipers in FPS games. (laughs) Never. Use his analogies. Just... just get honed edge and then body shot him. You're done. You see, you're assuming I have his analogies. I do oh. not have his analogies. Oh, no. I know I can buy it, but I don't have it. <laughs> what a legend! It's just waiting. Um... It's there. It's just in the shop. I know. Oh, yes. I know. It's just like I need all these bits and I don't have them yet. <laughs> it's like eh, it'll still be there. I'll just leave it. <laughs> see, I think uh, I think that a lot of the quests and stuff. You know, all the got all the new quests added, or old quests in a different location. Mm. You can pick them up for exotics, and obviously, obviously, it's got the legendary one just at the side of the postmaster. Yeah. yeah. Like, I never did any of the new light stuff, but I've got the new light one to do on my Titan, which I believe that Tribal wants to use for a. Uh, Dragmond? Why are you a saying? Dragmond episode. <laughs> Cheeky it's only in here. Episode one is out right now, but. We need to uh, record something now. I'm looking at you up there. Yeah. We need to record we, we, something, we don't we? Because, <laughs> yeah. To the I'll intro go. of it. So. Yes, yes, we do. We will do that, I promise you. And there could be a potential for a third person as well. Yes. Ooh. We might start dragging people in and be like, do you want to join us? Or We're just a featuring there. episode. So it could be Bacon as well. Could be. Yeah, it could be me and my brightly coloured Titan. And his shoulder charging ability. There's a Vanguard yes. shader that's bright orange and bright blue. Yeah, and there's like Vanguard yellow in it fire. as well. Have you not? Uh, have you not? Have you not got bright warning yet? I might. Uh, do. Not yet. Whoa, bacon! Get yourself bright warning. Whoa. It's like yeah. really a luminous orange, red, and light like baby blue. It's yeah. not ridiculously long. <laughs> In your face. There's a new shader oh. that's red, white, and black, by the way. That's like a crimson, pearlescent, like, uh, metallic colour. It's carbon it blood. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. No, that, bring, no <laughs> that, that brings me back to the, uh, was it, try hard, to the Try Hard Tuesday stuff. It's like, seeing the other people there, it's like, uh, it's like black, he's like dark green, and so I was like, where's Bacon? Here's the dude looking like an uh, Iron Brute bar <laughs> to the right. It is like yeah, that's that, that's bacon. That's, that's bacon. So you could recognize yourself in the videos. You just I can, re- there. I can easily recognize myself. It's just there. It's like why? Because I'm the only person who actually puts those straighters on, and I don't care. <laughs> They're the best. See, I think I, I think I'll go for quite shaders that are quite basic. So I'm not red. I'm always a red titan. Yeah. So it's not it's not like I'm trying to do anything different. Whereas um, I just black and white. Other people are going in black, and so I'm mm. red. Bacon's like some luminous nut cage you running around the back. <laughs> and then you've got Hazy in white, which is pretty much. So at the moment, it's like me, Hazy, and Bacon are starting the fucking Power Rangers in fucking Winnie Wednesday. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm always black in the Triad Tuesday ones. So. Yeah. Yeah. I want to I, I know if we're going to have someone going to decide they're going to be the Pink Ranger and the Yellow Ranger. <laughs> we can make the Power Rangers. No, oh, I could do that. I don't care. Yeah, you probably have to get you're, you're... Tips the Beam on to be the pink one. Uh, he's obsessed with pink. He loves a <laughs> good pink paint. Like, uh. I've, I've, he's, oh, he should be having it in pink. I think I copied him. He's like, Why are you copying my shit, bro? But <laughs> if Warzone joins, he's in that uh, Neopop thing that's like the oh. chrome blue and bright pink. Yeah, but Mr. Mega Mage was uh, rocking that first. So I kind of reminded him of that. He's like, no, no way. I had it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, so, I have a question for Mister Bacon. Ask away. Obviously, you're a Titan. You don't you don't play any other character, so it's no. going to be quite easy for you to compare. Where do you rate the Stasis Super and all the abilities as a whole in comparison to the rest? Is it Ooh. high up on the list? Is it at the oh. bottom of the list? Is it in the middle? Uh, at the moment, I'd. I think it's more in the middle. But the way the thing I've noticed about the thing I find about Stasis, I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Um, but compared to like Thunder Crash or the Solar Titan, which I can't remember the name of at the moment, uh, Hammer Strike. It's like you don't have much in terms of like long range DPS you can do when you're in your super. 
But the potential for teamwork is right there. There's like, all right, I'm going to put this wave of big ass icicles in front of me. It's going to freeze a bunch of enemies. You've got this ability. You've got this ability. You bash, kill everything in one go. Mm. The same thing with like, oh, you froze them with the grenades. I'll go and I'll smash them with my, uh, with the, with the melee. Which I think it's okay. The melee is okay. It's a bit annoying that if you miss, you you lose the melee energy. So you have to wait until it comes back again, which really annoys me because it's like you bastard. <laughs> You're supposed to stay still. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I do like the grenades. I, I really do quite like the grenades. Um, Five out of three grenades. Oh, the freezing bubble. Yeah, yeah. I really like that. I think, I think that's everyone's favorite because it's the yeah. cold snap got to be, nerfed. To be fair, cold oh, snap was good and they got nerfed. Yeah. I do like the initial first grenade you got. The, I, the iceberg, the wall. Yeah, yeah. the wall. But you know when someone's just joined on that character and they're like, oh, try and freeze that em- enemy and they just make a barricade for them and it's like, mm. great. Is this where Charles is going to cut to a video of me throwing a grenade and it bonking the enemy on the head and what, breaking the wall in front of me? What you do is you look for an environmental feature that's spinning. <laughs> like the Vex Because if you throw a bit, stuff. yeah, the Vex Conflux, if an ice crystal attaches ah, it to it, good, it will spin around yeah. and it will kill anybody who's actually standing there. That's Ooh. why I think they disabled Zerat R, because I reckon people are just trolling with the fans. Imagine oh, yeah. throwing a stasis yeah. data, the fun it is. <laughs> yeah. I- I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of that this season as Bungie realizes, like, oh, this is what the players are doing with the new stuff. But, but don't, are... don't tell Bungie. Uh, I uh, had the pleasure of making a wall in the Deepstone Crypt and glitching out the map and getting all the data pods oh, and all yeah. the chests, so. Oh. They they aided me with a stasis grenade, so what can I say? Uh, literally, <laughs> I think in Dragon Ball Episode 1, when me and Trouble first threw the grenade, we went, mm. well, we can use that to clone one. But think of the possibilities. <laughs> no, yeah. they literally didn't think it through. Throwing no. the, You could throw it and it just sticks to a wall sideways and you yeah. just climb on it. Sometimes it does vertically, though. If you're clever and you've got a chest pins farm material, you can throw one at the wall, climb on it, throw another one, climb on that one, and by the time you've got that one, you've got another grenade, you can just climb up wall. Salvation's great. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what it's like in Garden of Sorrow. Because everyone, mm-hmm. especially with the, the second, like second to last encounter, it's like trying to kill the big Hydra boss. Not the big Hydra boss. Oh, well, you got to kill the hard what? Oh, freeze uh, him yeah. Garden of Sorrow. Freeze him where he stands, if maybe. Unless he's a resistant to it, but oh no, that is something that I need. To well, try. you don't have to rebuild anymore. You just ice. Mhm. Ice. Baby. Last lament. <laughs> ice, ice, Chop. baby. <laughs> I oh, got that. Yes, I got. I finally got that yesterday. It's fun to use. Yeah. What that? The yeah. uh, salvation group. Not uh, many people no, like no. that mission. Oh, you have Which done mission? What, the the final one for like oh reforge the sword. Oh, uh, lament. Oh, like, lament. Yeah, lament. lament. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. love that sword, and probably will talk with the courtesy of teaching me the attack correctly. Yes. So if you charge, you left trigger until it's charged, and then you mm. press RB, RB. It just goes... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then you do a big slash <laughs> yeah. after, which is no, I did. what I've just done on the screen, which everyone's going to see, <laughs> is exactly what happens. You can't yeah. I, and you just see yellow numbers. <laughs> it's like yeah. okay. I, I used it on a I used it on a, um a Wrathborn hunt after I got it. And I was like, oh this boss might take a while and they were dead within a minute and I was like, You are OP, I like you. <laughs> you can <laughs> stay. Bye bye, guillotine. Give me the exotic. Yeah, li- literally <laughs> like, if if you're not use if you if you have to use another exotic and you have to use either man out, guillotine comes in. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you don't have to use another exotic, guillotine gets thrown out and Lamant just lands in your finger. Yeah. yeah. Look, guillotine's still good. I think even if they hadn't have nerfed it, it still would have been losing out to Lamant because Lamant yeah. is yeah. broken. The on oh. it's broken. I absolutely love it, though. Um, I... I, think, I think so far for this season, I've enjoyed what we've had so far. Mm. Obviously... There's only going to be so much time before we start going. Need something else now. Yeah. But yeah. I think. I think. Do you both agree that it's been enjoyable so far? Yeah. Enough content to keep uh, us. I've enjoyed it. I'm really. I have actually quite enjoyed it so far. I think um, Bungie's strategy of release 
delayed release on content is working really well here. Because it's like, you always see those tryhards who are level 100 and stupid, and it's like only two days <laughs> since release. And it's like, what are you doing with your life, man? <laughs> And then you see some of the same people show up on Reddit complaining that there's no content. And I was just like, yes, because you... Did you see that guy a... complaining that he couldn't solo the Deep Stone Crypt? Ah, uh, no. On day oh, one. Yeah. Of the raid. He was in the raid. Game. It's Can't too speak. difficult. Are you dumb? Read the six-player activity. It's a six-player activity. It's impossible to solo that raid, by the way, because it needs three people to do certain roles. That's oh. impossible. Don't. Not spoiling anything else. You just need three people. You can do it with three I, people. But to be fair, yeah. watching watching the raid racing that was quite good. Um, I did watch our team. Well, say our team. One of our teams that were doing it. Uh, the team that Bob was in, and it was it's quite educating to watch. Yeah. But it's hard. Like, I know how hard it is to try and work it out whilst it's in there. If you know what I mean. Mm. It's so like you're killing ads and they drop a little buff down and that's one of the roles. And then that person with that buff can only do certain things or see certain things and then that contributes to the whole team. So that's so how you can't do it then. solo because there's two roles in the first encounter. Ah, yeah. One guy has to be underneath the floor doing the things and the other two people have to tell them which ones to shoot. That's yeah, literally not... the gist of the first thing. Yeah. I, I've not watched any videos, any sort of thing about Deepstone Crit. All I know is that it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to it when I get a chance. When I actually yeah. get a chance to do it, should be fun. I, at the moment, have not yet completed it, but after this podcast, I will definitely have have, have been in there and completed it. I've been in there and had a little look around in the first Fingers encounter, crossed. but I will <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> Mm. Well, last Friday, technically, because yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just have a yeah. massive load of tears. Like I won't be able to contain myself <laughs> because realistically, I should should have completed. If Noel it, gets man. the rocket, though. We're gonna Ooh. go go to his house and egg it. I've, I've, egg I've, his I've, house. I've, to be fair, I've heard that it's Galaborn reborn. That thing. After more, mate, we, we were in a gambit, gambit and gambit. someone killed our entire team with it. He came to the oh, port wow. of the Gambit and he fired it. It killed all three of the other guys and I just hid behind a rock like a bitch. It's got truth to tracking and you can lock on to six targets at a time. And Gambit, so you can wow. go, If you turn the corner and you've got it and there's six enemies and you just pull the trigger, every one of them is going to die. So literally, wow. even if you, if you lock on to everyone, you can go behind a rock, shoot it in the air, and the rockets will go up and then zoom into people. Oh, okay. As long as you've got that lock on, you can just shoot it anywhere oh God, even hip like... fire it. it it sounds worse than truth i love it <laughs> to be fair after more than four hours in that stupid loss section trying to get pressure scar if i drop mm. the rocket launcher i'd feel like i got a bit of redemption i just feel it's game. tight I don't think it's gonna happen I, ne I, 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 I know for a fact what's gonna happen is this rocket launcher won't drop for me not tarot but i'll have to play the raid loads and loads of times regardless it looks like an awesome raid from what i've seen of it it reminds me of you know, the Wrath of the Machine from Destiny 1. Oh, Axis. Oh. It really gives me that vibe of it is The raid weapons are getting uh, compared to Vogue as well. Yeah. Oh, so wow. Like, it, and, if, and if the raid weapons are that good, I'll be chasing after rolls on the raid weapons to just... I'll plonk a clip them. into this... Uh podcast because i put a i i i've got the raid sniper it's got a recombination perk and every time you get a kill or two with your energy so say i've got gnawing hunger i'm getting those stacks i got recon recombination 10 and i shot a goblin in the stomach and it did 110k i oh, i've wow. seen this clip legendary it sniper <laughs> it is like... ridiculous uh, 129k crit damage is yeah. just Stupid! Oh, that god! It just exploded. And I don't, and I don't think as, as the uh, the time it hasn't got a time on it for the stack, has it? No, you can just have it forever. So you imagine a boss fight, you're just hitting ads, and then you just go 129k in one shot. Yeah. And then yeah. you start pulling your head. So if you're and... on like the garden raid, yeah, you you defender. If you're just killing ads and then you're on DPS phase, you can shoot shoot all your xenophage and then sniper time and then. 
Oh, that's good. Just got well, all your... <laughs> to be fair, with all your Xenophage bullets, so if you fire every Xenophage bullet and then you fire one sniper shot, you're probably going to hit a million damage in one gun. Probably. Oh, wow. And if every single player on the team does that, you all potentially could be hitting a million in one gun. So, okay. I, I, I can see that being the next big YouTube video that they try to go for. They've it. also got... Like, oh, we did... Two uh, raid weapons as a shotgun and a hand cannon, and the perk on it, I'm not quite sure what it's called, but it regens your ammo. Uh, it regens your armor over time, stowed or in your hand, two bullets Ooh. at a time, so two shells at a time, and it can double your capacity of Yo, your clip. If I, get, if I get that shotgun, I'm running it in Crucible, mate. So I'm you could get 12 that. without reloading that... in a shotgun <laughs> instead of a six. Uh, that that perk reminds me of an exotic sniper from Destiny One. Into, uh, yeah, icebreaker. icebreaker. Yeah, yeah, icebreaker. It's like I need he I need special ammo. I'll just equip this and keep it in my hand for about five minutes, <laughs> and then I'll change back and I'll have special ammo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's not even pulled from reserves. Have. It's just building bullets in your your gun. Yeah, it's typically the icebreaker, <laughs> but legendary. It's the icebreaker in hand cannon or shotgun form. Oh yeah, I've got it on the hand but cannon. Then, that to be honest, that's what you want from raid weapons. Yeah. It's you like, want them to be stupid. Yes, yeah. You want, you want, so you want nice stupid, well. overpowered perks that you can only get on those weapons. The thing is, if you've got to get them from raids, it means that you have to play PvE yeah. content. To yeah. play. You can't just jump into a raid and go, oh, I completely can get these weapons. You have to put them on. The so sword is not great, by the way. You cannot it, roll uh, Whirlwind Blade with it, I don't think. I've got the they twice and it's... Any sword on well, guard well, and fresh so fresh is okay because it's getting your super back if you're getting sword kills but if you want dps you want whirlwind don't you mm. there is no way they're ever going to roll another sword with whirlwind after what guillotine's done to the game there's no way <laughs> they're literally like whirlwind's going on the shelf they brought back okay. uh negative space didn't they doesn't that have whirlwind yeah, on but, it yeah but negative space is dog shit it don't hit anything it literally doesn't hit anything I used it to get Ice Form Mantle, yeah. I love you know. <laughs> That's what I was saying, uh, Titans. I feel like I don't get the exotics all the time on Titans. I go in Lost Sexes. It take it took me two hours yesterday to get the Ice Falls. Ooh. I know it took you four for I'm, nothing. But, I'm not yeah. salty or anything. That I spent four hours in the Lost Sexes and didn't get anything. Mate, you got in your I'm first tried, try, yeah. didn't you? Ice Fall Mantles. Yeah. To be fair, I went into the thing and got all four mantles on my first try, so I was happy. Pressure scars four hours and I didn't get nothing. Ooh. And then I went. In, this is the thing. I went into the legendary one the following day. I killed the overload captain and I killed the barrier server. I was like, yes. I was like, oh, I was like, if I can kill both of them, I can kill anything else. Got into the next bit, shooting the server with my outbreak. I ran out of bullets in my outbreak, so I had nothing left to use barrier on. And I just sat there for a minute. I went. I've had enough of this. I'm just going to leave and just left because I just couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't fathom out how I was going to get ammo and not let the darkness encroach and kill me. I was like, Do you want me to tell you what that does? What? When the darkness encroaches, it doesn't kill you. It just gets rid of all your revives. That's it. Yeah, but I don't. I, I need revives in the final bit. I can't stand there against a boss and just be like, pew, 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 from distance because I've just been there all day. To be fair, I could. Now I know that information, I can do that. Do you know, is, yeah. it, is it the uh, void one, yeah? Where you drop down and there's that little river of Vex milk. Just stay there. None of them can rush you. You just shoot from yeah, there. Yeah, but no. But if you step out and you start shooting something and you get hit by a few bullets, they hit like crane. So it's like, I'm dead. And if you step back wrong, you fall in the Vex milk and you die anyway. Just jump up on the ice, mate. It's Have you fun. ever seen me play as a Titan? Have you seen me like step back <laughs> off the map like an idiot? <laughs> No, like, I'm sure no. you've got a clip of me falling off the map. I'm, I can get, I've got a I clip on my phone. I can send it to you before falling off the map. Uh, Literally, in this section here, look directly at the camera. After I say this, there's going to be a, a video of me falling off the map. If he no. finds it, yeah. If he no, no. if he tells me no, no, where it no, no, is, no, no. I'll if find happen, it. If he happens to find it, it has to be a compilation. I, 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 I've got it on my phone right now. Yeah, top, you're going to send it. Yep. Let me find it. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me a moment. Live on the podcast. If I don't watch, I'll be like, oh, it's taken a long time, this. It's taken a long time. <laughs> any moment now, any moment. 
Oh, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's loading. It's loading. Where are you sending it? Up. Huh? Which app are you sending it? Uh, what app am I supposed to be sending it on? Just tell me which one, and I can. On Messenger is what I've sent. Okay. Because I didn't want to send it on Discord because we're currently using that. So it's sent. That's a tick. It says sent. So you viewed it. Yeah. So Trouble has now seen what I've, I've actually sent him a clip of me falling off the map. He will now laugh because he thinks it's really funny. This is why I'm, I'm bad at oh, this sometimes. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Was this me recording you or was it someone no, else? No, this is, this, is, this is Mr. Bloodman recording. Oh. oh. Wait, let me... I oh, Bacon was what. there. I just walked Bacon. off the map. All the I literally killed the last enemy and just walked off the map. I think I remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you were there. You were there. I just walked up to Math Lock. <laughs> oh god, what have you done? If it's gonna. No, just take. Just put clip. Put it in, put it <laughs> yeah, I, I remember Bacon, that. It's uh... like yep, we're done. Yep, yep, I remember that. Right in the glass way. We kill. I kill. We. I pretty much. Killed but the last I've done that before, mate. I've done it on prophecy, mate. Trying I'm to do solo did... flawless. Do you not remember sure. that? <laughs> I'm absolutely sure you've got a clip on your finger of me falling off the off the map when you untangled sure as well. I'm absolutely positive. Yeah. That happens to the best of and us. And this is in Charles' possession as well. This is definitely in Charles' possession. Oh, is so there's only two clips of me falling off the map. I haven't edited it yet. <laughs> I pretty much guarantee Charles can find two clips of me falling off the map. And that is just two clips in the space. Of, oh, I fall off the map a lot. Is this the I have clumsy, a tendency to walk off the map. Clumsy tire. <laughs> So, to be fair, I'm good at I'm good at the game. I'm not going to sound bad. I'm good at the game. I can do good things. But then th something of stupidity is I just walk off the map without any thought of anything else. I just walk yeah. off the map. Yeah. And then your yeah. reaction is like, oh, I've just fallen off. And it's like, oh, we all do it. It happens to the best of us. But I still think the, uh, the the best best place to do it is in uh, Garden of Salvation. What, it's walk like, off oh. The map. It's like, no, no, it's like, oh, someone's AFK and we're just about to do this encounter. Oh. I've got space for a run up. It's like, run, 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 run. Is I that the, the uh, when we're killing the harpy, yeah? Uh, and you just like <laughs> line them up yeah. to the death I, pit. I, I even think shoot, knocking him into the Vex milk when you're doing the final boss is it's just as good. If you're a Titan and someone goes AFK in any activity and yeah. you have shoulder charge active, yeah. if you don't shoulder yeah. charge him off the map, you are not Titan incorrectly. Yeah, you, you have, if you're not These, doing it properly, so you just get. Shaq shows up to your front door and asks for your Titan what license. What Titan? What kind of Titan are you? Not shoulder and if you have, people are. And if you've got the new Stacy Super, it's kind of, you can yeet them a little bit, but you have to gently push them, get yourself set, and run at them perfectly and hit them, or why you yeet yourself into non-existence and then you look like a topper? Do you know yeah. that um, uh, fucking the Hunter can yeet them even further, but they have to use well, Bacchus and uh, that, that World Mines there, I think. Uh, okay. It's how the speed run in it now. You gotta use both of those things. You gotta do that shift dodge and do your heavy strike and you go zoom and pass. <laughs> oh, wow. So is that is that is that in comparison to the Warlock's Icarus dash now? No. Cause it, you zoom past them literally like they tested it on uh, Cadmus Ridge. He was at the uh, entrance where Varix is on top of an iceberg and he literally got to the end of the other side in literally a second. Wow. I can send you the clip. I can put it in the URL in the description if the guys at home want to watch it as well. So, free views yes, to yeah, yeah, Sweatsicle please, please if you like the two, guy. Two Titans want to see someone <laughs> yeet across the map. It's one of us if it leads to see. Bacchus Titans and... one yeet. Punch <laughs> <laughs> equals yeet. And you're using your yeeting as well, yeah? I love using my yeet and my <laughs> Oh, yeet's the best. Right, to take a bit of edge off this now, I feel like this is the perfect time trouble. What? We haven't even recorded an hour yet, so yeah, well, no, calm down on the fun. list. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, to be fair, I keep looking at it and I really want to talk about it because I'm, 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 I'm we're, we're all, we're all wondering it, wondering. It's a big fan of food. I want to know 
because bacon is bacon king is called bacon king. I yeah. want to know best bacon dish that you or the top to three because it might yeah. be very difficult. We'll go to top three. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit difficult. Oh, I love that. Oh, he's... Didn't we send you this <laughs> list? <laughs> I, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll have to think about this a bit. The classic bacon butty. Just you can't go wrong with a bacon butty. But how do you like your your bacon though? Uh, smoky, cooked, maybe a bit crispy. <laughs> I'll eat it. I don't care. <laughs> That'd be crispy. Yeah, I can't, I can't deal with it. Red either. sauce, brown sauce, eh, whatever comes. <laughs> egg on it as well. Uh, uh, sometimes, yeah, because egg something. in in Scotland you can go to uh, snack vans and literally get a fry up in a bun. What? You can get a fry up <laughs> in a bun. It's literally. Can I get a roll with sausage, bacon, egg, black pudding, potato scone, haggis so... as well, all in one thing? And it's you buy it because it's like. You're a bit rough, and you just want grease. So literally, the rough, next we'll podcast we do, yeah, we're going to Scotland with you, Bacon. Next podcast, maybe if we can Mate, travel. If we, out, <laughs> if we, we can out, travel. Comment situation. You're gonna see me eating a roll and just like, like an animal. And yeah. I'll just oh, talk because yeah, I don't eat that much, so that's fine. <laughs> you join yeah, that fantastic. bacon sandwich, and you om om. <laughs> I'm drunk in a roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's your third is it your first I said bacon roll no I said the bacon roll with whatever uh, pigs in blanket you can never go wrong with pigs yeah. in blanket everyone loves pigs in blanket only comes around Christmas yeah. though only comes around Christmas time but whatever gives us an excuse to have it for our birthday meal as well you know yeah true yeah. true <laughs> just like troughs and troughs of sausage and bacon that's all I want it's not like <laughs> Bit, bit, a bit much. Uh, third one, third one. There's a dish called Balmoral chicken. Uh, basically, you take a chicken breast, slice it up, slice it out, open, stuff it with haggis, and then you wrap it with bacon and you bake it, and it is absolutely great. Keeps it nice and moist. Tastes really nice. Goes well with like whatever. No. <laughs> Never eaten haggis before. I guess yeah, it's all right. Chicken are two of my favorite things to eat, so I, I, I think haggis can't be that bad to eat. Haggis is good. good. Just just don't think about what's been what it's made out of. Yeah, <laughs> mate, I eat kebabs. I don't give a shit what it's made out of. Oh, okay, fine. Just go for it then. Because I, I went oh, to no. Weatherspoons in Fort William, and they have a haggis burger there, and that's nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It goes well oh, with like mate. It goes well with everything, and I think it's like it's a perfect national dish. And it's like oh, well. It's like, oh, you got this traditional haggis supper and all this sort of they stuff. They always say, like... uh, go on, sorry. But then you can also get it on burgers, pizza, uh, rolls. Just You find it in the most random things and it just works. Is it not deep fried Mars bars as well, your delicacy? Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've had one. It's actually pretty good. Really? If done right. Yeah, if done right, you gotta okay. treat it, you gotta treat it like a, like a fried donut. You can't oh. just put it into the regular one, but if you do it right, it works. I love food. No, I was intrigued. No, you're oh, you're really it. selling me haggis here. I'm really in my head going. Should I try and go out and buzz, try, and, try and get a hold of some haggis? There's some um, uh, nice iron brew sweets as well in uh, Scotland as well. Yeah, they used to sell iron brew bars, but I haven't seen those on sale. No. Yeah, years, I had an iron brew years. bar back in the day. Yeah. That's, a very, yeah. that's, a, that's a thing that used to uh, be. Uh... You can get like There's jelly ice... baby iron brew things though, if you like yeah. those. No, so. <laughs> the flavor, the flavor is fairly. I think easy to rep, uh, well make a mimic of. Yeah. But I know there's a ice cream parlor in Edinburgh that makes a brew sorbet. I've had it before, and it's just like, oh my god, it's so full of sugar. I you love it. I've, j- I've literally just seen travel, man. Job. No one likes sweet things, and I, I don't mind it. So uh, you know. So so it looks like if we if we're ever going to do a a, a, a a traveling podcast with bacon, it's going to be eating food in Scotland would be the place to go. We'd like yeah. to do that, yeah, because we, we we already said we're doing a traveling podcast to Forgiven, and he said he's got a room available. So I'll have to spoon with Noel. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a really weird spoon because I'm going to I'm going to have to be a little spoon. 
the next question is who's going to be the big spoon? Who's going to be the little spoon? Well, well he's a midget. He got called a. Uh, wait, your mate called you a dwarf today. He's like, where's the dwarf? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, do you mean Noel? I'm like, yeah, he's like, I don't know. I, like, I, I genuinely feel like I'm wee man in Jackass and I just want to beat everybody up sometimes. <laughs> I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> See, Jackass. When I, when I think of bacon, Hunter's Chicken's the first thing I think of with all the bacon all over. That's the first thing I think of if I'm going to yeah. go for bacon. But, uh, Panacetta is very similar to bacon. Yeah, I like that on pizza. Nice. It's nice. Yeah, and uh, I do like that in a in a carbonara. That's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice. So, to be fair, I like bacon on anything. You could yeah. pretty much put. I could pretty much put bacon on anything. I'll happily eat it. Yeah, I could put bacon on chocolate bar and it'd be fine. I wouldn't care. I, I wouldn't, I've I wouldn't... had, I've I've had uh, brownies with bacon bits in it. Oh, wait, Before. what? It was like. This tastes really weird because it's like really crunchy and it's all, and salty, but it's like oh, it's quite nice. I and... love the way I travel. I've what? got really excited about food with bacon, bacon. and travel. Now you want bacon? Like, I don't oh, mind, but like, I made a banging stew on sa- on Sunday, and I've just put the last portion in the freezer. So, if you want to send the image, can put it on the screen uh... right now. <laughs> No, you can find an image of it being made in the more than gaming bit on the clan Discord. Okay. Where it's just bubbling away on the stove and talk. <laughs> but that's the only picture I took, unfortunately. Guess where Noel's going now. Yeah. <laughs> Great Go my stew. stew. Not Great margin stew, stew, but his, his food stew. <laughs> no wrong. Uh, no wrong. Yeah, that's. Like, uh, I, I like bacon, but. I'm more of a uh, shellfish foodie guy, so. No, oh, like that's good. I like lobster and prawns and shrimp and all that shit. Oh, mate, I love prawns. Yeah. I love prawns. They're so good. I like Dude, scallops. Absolutely. Scallops brand. are. Hard. I haven't tried scallops. Oh, that's, a, that, that's another thing. Scallops and bacon works really well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, genuinely I need to try scallops. One of those foods. That you could pretty much do anything with it, and everyone's pretty much happy. And I haven't tried well, unless... crab neither. I think it works. I think the reason it works quite well is it's very salty and very fatty. So it's just sort of like works. I think it works. I think it works whether like you're hungover or not, and it's, you can you can eat it any time. Oh yeah, Breakfast, yeah. Dinner, t- look, yeah. regardless of whenever it is in yeah. the day, you can have it at any point in the day. I think, it, I think um, it was Al Murray did a skit about that in one of his live shows, saying how bacon can bring people back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just like it. leaning on the great white telephone to God. I was like, oh God. <laughs> then you smell. Then someone start cooking bacon, and then you smell. You can smell it, and then your brain goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate! And if then I, you if, rise from the dead. If I <laughs> if I smell any form of bacon cooking at any point, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can you can buy like a uh, bacon aerosol on Amazon. Because oh, I was trying to grocery <laughs> shop for bacon popcorn because they actually <laughs> sold it on Amazon, but they discontinued it. It was so oh. nice because that when they were making the popcorn, you just whack it in the microwave. Your whole house stinks of bacon. It was so nice. Oh man! But the po- popcorn itself was so like salty and fatty they had to discontinue it. <laughs> Why? So I'm there looking at bacon products and it's, oh, bacon aerosol, bacon soap. Why would you want bacon, bacon soap? soap? Yo, smell You're in the bacon. shower and you're like, yeah, oh, bacon. I, I love bacon. bacon. Oh, <laughs> bacon I, I, shampoo. I don't, I don't think, I don't think I could do that. It's just like no, this is your too hair much, stinks man. of too bacon. Too much. It <laughs> stinks of bacon. Clothes stink of like, bacon. You're the I king of bacon. bacon. Why not? Uh. I love bacon as a food, but soap's a little bit too far. Yeah. Like, an aerosol? Like... Yeah, bacon. Bacon's a good food, but I wouldn't call it a lifestyle choice. Wow. Although some people go a bit mental for it. I, 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 blame Par- I blame Parks and Rec. Don't don't hurt me if we do do the uh, the travel podcast and I give you a present and it, it's a bacon soap or something. 
don't Dude, hurt me. I, 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 <laughs> I would, like, oh I would appreciate. I would appreciate it because I'm a man who loves shitty gifts. If you, if you want, I can, I can go one better. If you give it me, I can yeet it as far as I can. That you might appreciate even more. <laughs> Just yeet it as far as I possibly can. So what you're While saying is, I could, I could get a gift from Dragon of bacon soap, and your gift would be to take the bacon soap from my hands and yeet it into go, the sea. Go, go up Ben Nevis and then for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't. I, I don't think the park rangers would like that. I'm not being funny. I'm not eating a bar of, you know, a bar of bacon. So they'll be like, "What are you doing? I'm just bar. eating bacon down the hill." Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think they'd appreciate that. <laughs> and I think the smell of the bacon would attract animals and eat it, and it, it tastes like soup. That's oh got no! Oh. Oh. oh, just imagine oh. that. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> but yeah. Bacon is one of my favourite foods. As mm. a soap. <laughs> I, 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 in my brain now, all I can think of is who is out there buying bacon soap. But someone's got to be It's buying. got four, four out of five stars, so... <laughs> wow, okay. Wow. Is this on Amazon? Yes. Unless it's the, this continued, but I, last time I searched I'm while I was trying gonna, to buy I'm a power go cable for the goddamn I'm PC, I'm going to screen record myself searching for bacon soap, <laughs> and I'm going to go through the reviews. <laughs> well, post it on TikTok. <laughs> bacon soap on TikTok. I don't have TikTok, mate. I'm not. I, I, I can't. <sighs> I just can't. can't. I'm that person. I just can't. I don't have it either. So I feel like. I feel me like me I neither. Do, all I can think of is like, oh, it's a place. It's a, pla it's a place. There's memes, and 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 Trump doesn't like it. He's not president anymore, so he can. He, he still is. is. Until not January. not no, till yeah. the not till the first of not till January. He's still yeah. president. It's really weird. So you know, in you know, in the UK, when we or or, or even Scotland, when you make a vote, that person yeah. leaves and a new person comes in. In America, yeah. they vote them in. And the other person finishes on the just the tidiest yeah. things in the White House first, and then he's got to tidy. He's got to put all his toys away, <laughs> clean up his messes, his empty, empty the fridge, because it's like don't guys, don't like this, leave this was there. a massive fraud, guys. Got to recount mm -hmm. the stuff. No, he's got to do the, the recounts the of the recounts. Anything he could possibly can to just fuck the country. His, up his dancing though. Oh. <laughs> No, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm God. dancing like Trump. <laughs> no, yeah. he is I, a I'm, very... <laughs> I'm looking forward to He's possibly the most entertaining moment of 2021 when he has to be dragged out by his arms. Or is he? I, I, come on, Trump. I genuinely feel like it's going to come for the keys and he's going to barricade himself in the Oval Office. I'm still president. Okay. You get up, Dude. my and lawn. It, it's gonna, it's gonna be a case. Yeah. He's gonna be bar barricading himself in there for as long as he possibly can. See, this is where this is where UK elections have their own charm, because you can watch like an interior minister lose their job at three a.m. in the morning, stood next to a man dressed as Poe from the Teletubbies, <laughs> yeah. in a in a leisure centre. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, there's some charm to that. I'm wondering but if that then, guy's still there, because every time they're talking about politics and they're outside uh, the parliament building, there's always a guy with a cardboard car saying, nuclear war, ban all nukes and all this shit. It's been there for years. Yeah, he's yeah. been there for years. I've watched I've, I've TV been... since, so I don't know if he's still there I genuinely think, if you turn the TV on now and he wasn't there, <gasps> everyone would be in the... Where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> Where's he gone? We need a replacement. <laughs> Where, where's the I'm god? Sure, where's the I'm man sure in his that, tent? I'm sure the last time I the last time I watched some sort of parliamentary thing, he was there with his cardboard song and like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No one wants to cuddle though, so. Oh, have you seen my have you seen my t shirt, right? Oh yep, let's cuddle. <laughs> right, no no no. I've got And and the bottom half. Eat tacos. <laughs> have you had oh, a well, taco uh, oh, bacon tacos with tacos? Bacon with tacos. Oh yeah. Do you reckon a bacon would go well in attack? Obviously, it's going to go well. Do you reckon it would do as well, yeah? I think it could, because uh, pork's a popular filling for a taco anyway, and it works with chicken. I think it works with guacamole. I think this is where, if Forgiven's watching, he will be able to tell us if it would go well in attack or not. Because I've heard he's a man that knows these sort of things. Let us know in the comments, because I know Forgiven, 
When do we call you up? Comment time. Yeah. <laughs> Comment time. I love it. But no, um, the whole the whole concept of of bacon just oh brings such happiness to my face. Well, the guy cool. or the the food? Both. Oh, both. <laughs> both. Oh, thank you. Away. And, and, and yeah, nothing you're, brings, you're a nice guy, bacon. More happiness <laughs> yeah. than me, of a dad. If I'm on the Xbox and Bacon Gosh. joins the party, it's always a good time. I saw it's you join my party the other day and I was like, I've been chosen. He's joined my party. <laughs> it's like, who's available and not in a raid? It's like, oh, no. <laughs> or however. If John, I was like, yo! Yeah, I think Yay. it was me, Blood and Bacon running around and oh, I fell off the map like a duck. Like yeah, day. yeah. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> that oh. that anymore. And <laughs> yeah, we uh, I think we was doing nightfalls. We were doing nightfalls for a quest line, I think. Yes, the stasis one. Yeah, the I haven't done it yet. Still, so. I've been really? doing everything else. <laughs> yeah, it's born in darkness four, I think. Mm, yeah, I've almost you, completed uh, all yeah. my sabotages. Mm. Only two, I, two I, left. I, I just gotta do uh, empire hunts with that shitty armor. Ooh. I think I've done more with the armor. What Ooh. the crested green armor? Yes. I yeah, sharded it I... all, and then when it said you had to have the armor to do a sabotage, I was like, "Fuck!" The grind public running. events. I'm running around with that at the moment. It's like I like it. It's big and fluffy, but I don't like the boots. The wall so like, one got... is. It's not the big shaggy, like boot part. It's the fact that you're wearing snowshoes at the same time. <laughs> oh, Works when you're on Europa. Summer. Yeah. Not, Works I'm when you're on Europa. It doesn't work when you're like running around the Dreaming City. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I love the. I love the. I love the new armor. Yeah. It's like you've got that armor and you're playing PvP on Altar of Flame when it's the hottest map because it's Mercury. <laughs> There's nothing worse. Yeah, but that just show that just shows how hard you are as a guardian. It's like <laughs> I'm boiling and I'm still winning. Why is it? Why is it? All I've got in my head now is Big Shaq's man's not hot. He running around up with flame with all these man's not hot. He's running around <laughs> shooting other guardians. Um, bra, bra, no, bra, bra, bra. Was my was the other day on all the flame, and I was like, I swear to God, if these ice melts on these guns, I'm going to be devastated, mate. Mm. Mm. No, I I I tell you this now, I love the new super and everything, but I don't know how Icy's going to fare if you put heat to it. I, uh, uh, I'm i curious as well. Um, it, it it shouldn't matter because it's aesthetic, isn't it? Because uh, yeah. when, when you do the endurance exo thing, you should be able to throw a solar nade and he, like, heat yourself, but it doesn't, it's just aesthetic. It's the same principle as what you said. But, um, I'm I'm wondering because uh, your stasis you have to be on the stasis tree on a Titan to use those gauntlets, yeah. You have yes. to be on the stasis super to be hunter for the shift. You don't have to be any stasis for a warlock. You just use all of those things as any class. Where's the armor for that? Why why is it different? <laughs> Shouldn't it be the necrotic grips that are broken, stasis? Don't need any help. But it's no. every class. I'm just curious. I'm more interested to see if they'll introduce uh, stasis energy weapons. Yeah, like the uh, energy yeah. type and shields. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm hoping for? I know it sounds really weird. I'm hoping for them to bring in stasis, stasis weapons that are legendary as well, yeah. not just exotic. And uh, Noel think... wants a blue bow so he can put it in Win It Wednesday. Yeah, Bungie, if you could, if you could get a blue bow, just a blue one, just for the sake of it. Just so I could use it in Winnie Wednesday. I'd love you forever. Thanks, guys. Which is a game that he made in private game. Yeah. <laughs> just, just so we can just abuse each other in private games, because it'd be funny. Well, sorry, you were going... Yeah, so. be fun. No, I think I think the reason, like, Salvation's Grip is a... Uh, what is that? No, a stasis element. Exotic. It's an stasis element exotic weapon, but it fires those big ice blocks, which makes it like makes sense. Whereas I'm thinking like like stasis auto rifles, stasis shotguns. Why don't you get a trace rifle where thing. you like shoot you're shooting somewhere, it freezes them. So you're mm. constantly shooting like an ice ray and it freezes them. 
Oh, the thing is, talking about this, all I can think of is like the is a legendary stasis grenade launcher that's just like a bag of snowballs, <laughs> and you throw them at people. <laughs> that would be a very good dawning uh, weapon. Yeah, it's like, oh, that would be a fantastic dawning gift. It's like, what's this snowballs? Oh, it does stasis. Nice. When you equip it, it's just like a bag on your hip, and you're just <laughs> reloading by like, getting man, balls out of your back. <laughs> <laughs> that would be obviously. No, I'm not going to lie. If I got killed by someone using that on Crucible, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd just. Be oh, like, I I'm be wondering mad. if they'll oh. bring back the snowballs, but like up the modifier in the tower because it used to be a like last dawning, wasn't it? You got the snowballs in the tower, and you could freeze people. Yeah, up, yeah. up it up to stasis level, so they're actually frozen. But like, oh, I really need to go and get the prime anger, oh, and you just freeze I them and spawn. I think they're pretty cool, to be fair, I'm not even going to lie. There's no, yeah. To be fair, the Dawn Snowball is going to be Because people are going to want to throw snowballs at each other. Oh yeah, always. If they up the ante and make it so you actually freeze people in the tower, that'd be awesome. And to be fair though, it'd be awesome but annoying. Every yeah, single uh, Crucible and Gambit has to have like that stasis regen just for Christmas time. So it what, feels more festive because you're, you're throwing <laughs> ice everywhere. <laughs> It's called well, now in in uh, oh. Nessus. Yeah. But now well, the curse of Saint Nick. It was like someone's been naughty. Someone told me this, right? Do you know every time you fly to Nessus, mm. the red cubes looks like uh, big red lips. So if you see that now, sorry, because I see oh, it every God. time. Oh, when you do what? If Go you look Nessus at the what? planet Nessus and you fly yeah. towards it and you see the planet. You can see a, a like a the rocks silhouette like a lips shape. So what yes, you're saying is Callus has put his face on the planet, which reminds me on another sense. thing. Uh, do you know Callus has gone away? There's some new law revolving what Osiris has figured out or found out within the solar system. If everyone's mm. been keeping tabs in that good old office of Zavala's, Mr. No, that I told you this morning to look at, uh, he has got in contact with Callus's daughter, who has a name Ooh. that's like Katius or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was on a lore entry for the minigun you got from the uh, Olympic and game. And she's like with the, uh, the some of the Red Legion now, and they're trying to get in contact, so maybe it's that little clip that we saw in that Vidoc with Zavala just like that, and Osiris mm. is like, that's why Osiris doesn't have a ghost in that cutscene. <laughs> they already spoiled yeah. it. How yeah. could they kill Sigur? I've said it every podcast. How could they? <laughs> Spoilers, Terrible. Bacon, if you've not seen it. <laughs> what, the Vidoc or the fact that uh, Sigur is dead? Sigur. Yeah, I know, Sigur is dead. To be fair, we've probably we're reshuffling the the thing here, but I don't care. I just want to know what your thoughts were on it. No, like, mm. or do you All think right, she yeah. deserves to have a cutscene because she had she was such a big part of the Curse of Osiris DLC? Like, to be fair, I, I didn't read the thing. the thing by the way. It just <laughs> chained. Yeah. Um. <laughs> To be honest, I don't have much of a feeling about it because I just plowed through the content when I got to the point to do it when I started playing over a year ago. Um, it's a bit, it is a bit of a shame in terms, because of what it means for Osiris as a character. It's like he's a guardian without a ghost now, so if he gets offed, that's him, which I suspect might happen. Coincidentally, wow. his voice actor showed up in Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like. Is the he's most like, powerful reckon... warlock, and he's like, oh. he's like, hold on, I recognise that voice. <laughs> See, my my thoughts are like the Curse of Osiris DLC wasn't the best DLC they ever released. By, by no means a stretch. And I played that DLC. I was one of these sad people that played it so hard that I actually got to give a ghost shot and finishing Same. everything. Mm. The I weapons forges. As much as much as I didn't, as much as the DLC people moaned about it, I didn't. I enjoyed it. I enjoy all content Ooh. from Destiny. Like, I moan about the games, I hate it. But no matter what they release, I'll always play it and I'll always enjoy it. Mm. I was a little bit peed off that they didn't give her a cut thing and give her a proper send off. They just sort of went, she's dead. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I think what you that, mean. Possibly it'll be in a cutscene, like the Maybe. next like continuation of that storyline. 
I'll hope there's a flashback cutscene because if she doesn't get a cutscene for a dying, I'm gonna be because so right now, because like, yeah. it's like she was a great character and she came along with you for your for the whole DLC story. So yeah, she was part of your. Oh, sort of, I get it. I get it. I get it. Time, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. It's like it was sort of finding out. It's like, oh, what's happened to her ghost? It's like, oh, she's dead. It's like. You're, you're telling me in it. this way. It's like I'm not being told by Osiris. I'm being told by Zavala. I'm being told in a way that's just like what the by hell? bitch boy. <laughs> but I reckon, like, place, we'll only get new content when the community do something. Because when the community beat the raid, that new quest showed, and the other Wrathborn mm. quest showed. So if the community did something else, there'll be more content. Because I reckon yeah. the next community goal is the sabotages, because Varix hasn't done anything since we've done... Because it's, like, paused now. Yeah. We're on to the Wrathborn bit. Varric's side needs to do something extra, because I think that when we when the community's done all the sabotages to a current, like, level or something, some cutscene or mission will become available. Because yeah. Exo Stranger was meant to give the... Uh, what are they called? The Eclipse Zone Bounties or something? There's a little bit of stuff that you do in that area, but not that mm. much. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think uh, I think I think you may be right there with the whole content thing. I think they might hold some of it back. I reckon Zero Hour is still yeah. so, somewhere I, in there, but the community needs to do something yeah. for it. I think it I think this goes back to what I said pre earlier. It was like this they're doing the slow Time release thing, of timed yeah. content going out and it's like that's actually pretty good because it means that you can still come back it's like it's like oh i've done everything now within the first week it's like what's the point of like doing this and then you go on to reddit complain so for me on 1263 uh obviously i'm a 1250 base mm -hmm. i'm happy with that obviously now i'm on that pinnacle chase now i'll chase yeah. the pinnacles but once i've done all that that's on one character once I've done that, mm. I'll jump on the other two characters and I'll try and get start leveling the yeah. other two characters up. That's not a problem. I've got enough time. I can just take my time and level them up. I'm happy. The thing yeah. that gets me is these people that get through all three characters in two weeks, do the raid, complain there's no content. And it's yeah. like, there is no content because you've done all the content. Yeah. I, could, yeah. I, could book, I could book two weeks off and get all the content smashed out and then go, there's no content. The only reason well, why I'm doing that is so I can edit up to the current. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like say it's all your twelve sixty. I'm, I'm looking at mine. It's like I'm twelve twenty three, which means I'm twelve fifteen. I'm twelve sixty five. But you're yeah. You're, like I, I I was playing the content. I'm playing the content at more speed. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to turn around to you and say, oh, I don't know what you're playing for because there's no content. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, you're yeah. doing the content at the speed you want to do it at. And yeah, I'm doing that's the speed my... I want to do it at. That, that's my thing because uh, when, the, when the DLC dropped was the same day when the new Xboxes got released. And that's when mine showed up. So I was like, oh, I'll bring it home and get it set up. And it's like, I can't play it till tomorrow. <laughs> so I was like, lost a day there. And then work being work. It's just like, oh. <laughs> but probably smashing it. At the weekend, because they've got the time now. So the, I managed to score uh, a day off the day after the content release. So I played all day that day, mm. and then um, I played a little bit over time. And then last week, I focused my time on just just enjoying myself. I'm just playing the content, yeah. just doing yeah. what I wanted to. And then I've been oh. off this past week, so I've been able to catch up on some stuff that I wouldn't normally get done. So yeah. it, it's one of them. I've enjoyed it. But I'm also playing the new Spider-Man game on the PlayStation 2. Ah. So I've got something to sort of, if I, once I've had enough of, not saying I'll get annoyed with it, but once I've had enough of Destiny for a few hours, I can go, right, I can break yeah. and yeah. just do something else for a little bit, just to yeah. sort of keep it all fresh, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's, uh, I'm it's in a similar boat. Did we so I've got uh, mention, uh, does Mr. Bacon like Gambit? The new Gambit? Ooh. I I'm okay with it actually. I like the fact that it's uh one round, being the mix between uh, Prime and Re and OG Gambit. Um, I do find it a bit annoying try trying to get. I did find it a little bit annoying get used to the whole like oh no I need to deal with these blockers, but then playing with blueberries who don't know how to play properly can be a bit of a bummer. I think I think that's a but... massive 
Yeah. But I think they need to do a tutorial with Gambit. Yeah, if you like don't how do to... blockers, you will get fucked. I'd put it into I, I, you could roll that into the new light experiences, like a mini quest line of how to Gambit. And there's just a NPCs just putting down. and stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, it's like just putting it down, like what the basics, what the mechanics are, because like, I I played a game what last week, and it's like, dude, Drifter said bank, and we can get the uh, primeval in, and I see a guy running around with like trying to get fifteen moats, and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? We've are been told bouncing? to bank. You know, the other thing and that's the thing. If he right? banked, we might have won. The thing that makes me smile is, you know, when you get this one, my one is. I've played it even in the old content and new. Mm. Drifter, bang, and get a prime evil. And then the geezer with 15 moats running around trying to pick up more moats. And I'm just yeah. like, are you stupid? Can you not see the flashing 15 max yeah. on your screen? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll just sit at the bank and wait for them. And then when they do decide to come over and bank, it's like, I'm just sat there like, I've been, I've, I've, other times I've been there and it's like, we need four moats to the bank. And I've got, yeah. and, I've, and they've killed an enemy, and they've tried to pick up moats and missed them. I've just walked over, picked four, banked, and just left them over there trying to gather mm. moats along. Just want yeah, to get the a... prime ever done and start damaging. I don't want to be here all day. But I think yeah. bounties are harder to do because it's such a small period of time. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's that's definitely true. That's the I'm only not... annoying part to me. I'm I'm but... too used to like, uh, oh, I can pick up these five bounties and do four of them in one round or two rounds, and it's fine. But then he's like. You leave it, it's like, oh, I need to do more, but then you're encroaching on the site. If I do four games, that's a pinnacle, which apparently should be leaving until I've done all the other powerfuls. So, so what, they've, what they've done is they should turn around and say, oh, pinnacles is four games. So you've got the opportunity to... No, no, no. I think, I think both for Gambit and Crucible, they should do what they do for Strikes, which is play, do X amount of this with, an ele- with the active element. Because then that it's would, like, oh, that would help. Because it's like, I want to push for powerfuls and then do my pinnacles. Yeah. Which uh, they could code it differently as well. They could do a vice versa on the, the uh, bounty engram. So instead of you getting the drop on your pinnacle go, you get the bounty on that thing. But like when you yeah. completed the matches, you get an engram that can change whatever. And you just go to the gambit guy and get it. Yeah. Or the armor rather than the bounty being the armor, mm. like the I, I, pinnacle I, being the armor. I personally think that you should have for Crucible and Gambit, it should be three games a week from each is a pinnacle, uh, is a powerful. But then, if you do all eight bounties from the vendor, you get your pinnacle, yeah, yeah, so that you it doesn't matter if you can't finish it in three games, you can do four games, five games, six games, eight yeah, games, ten yeah, games, yeah. get all your bounties done, go complete them all, and then you can go back and get your pinnacle. That would make people's lives easier. But yeah. then once you hit the hard cap, it changes, so you just have to play games. Mm. But I'd, it's one of them, yes. But the main thing is obviously the crow's back, obviously old and yeah. stuff. We're yeah. not allowed to call him that. Do you think Spider's a dickhead for saying don't call him that and using Ognisov for what it, for his means to his end? Do you feel like he's protecting him? Do you feel like he's, you know, using him for what he can? I think, he, I think in that situation, it's just Spider being very much Spider, and also making it very obvious to the players like this person is not nice. He's like an absolute bastard. Don't trust him. <laughs> Especially when he casually mentions that he uh, wired up a uh, crow's uh, ghost to to a bomb if he isn't behaving, and didn't tell him. I'm just like, God, you're a wanker. Why did <laughs> I ever agree to work with you in the first place? You know, the first. You no, know, I, I don't like. Obviously, I don't like Aldrin's sub at all. Like, obviously, mm. we pulled the trigger on him. I was chuffed. But the more now that I see the crow, the more I sit there and think, I would love to be able to take the bomb out of his ghost. Yeah. And just let him be a guardian the way he wants to be a guardian. But, yeah, yeah. But the one thing I really liked about that was like, you do the initial quests to get the season kick started, and after you've done that, you get a message from Osiris who's like, "Look, we know what's going on here. People don't like him, but it'd be best to like keep a bit quiet, and we'll try and help him at some point." I was just like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling the same way." I, I, th- I think Osiris is trying to look out for him because, yeah. 
I think Zavala and Okoro are going to go mad when they find out it's him. I don't know. I think Zavala, they'll probably go mad, but then they'd be suddenly reminded that he's now a light bearer. And by definition, he doesn't know who his past life is. Yeah. The thing is, is Spider going to use that to his advantage and try and tell him about his past life? And obviously, you know, we had the initial cut scene, mm. the new teaser, the kickstart. Did you see Marisov's face? Yes. Yes, uh, when I booted up the game, it's just like, what the hell's Mara doing? She here? is also so, in those dialogues in Zavala's yeah. office as well. She's mm. talking about coming back. Yeah. Now, uh, what's it? Uh, Petra Venge, when you go speak to her, she's heard a rumor that the prince lives. And it's just like, okay. It's like, yeah, trying, <laughs> it's like trying to find out about this stuff. It's like, okay, cool. And then. You also get another lore entry. Oh, actually, no. It's when you do a Wrathborn hunt. One of the lines of dialogue is like, when you're in the Dreaming City, it's just like, I can hear like like faint whispers in the back in the back of my mind. It's like, and, and his ghost doesn't know it. I'm just like, is that Riven or his sister? I'm guessing it's his sister, because if it's <laughs> Riven, then what the fuck? To be fair, though, if she can still connect with him, he's is he going to go? He can't go back to being older and soft, can he? And Riven's still in his, uh, in her ascendant plane. You don't actually kill her in the ascendant. You go through the ascendant plane and the raid to go out of it, but she's there still. Yeah. I don't know. I'll be, so I'll be, be to see how they, yeah, how yeah. they pull the it story a, out. I like just from a from a player's perspective, it's a nice little callback to like the uh, to Forsaken campaign because it's just like you also you also got to remember particularly with himself it's like he was manipulated from the very beginning from i think uh when oryx did his clap yeah, yeah. And took everyone so he was manipulated from that point onwards and it doesn't become obvious until the big meatball shows up and realize oh that's not my sister <laughs> He's like, hug yeah. me, and he's like, oh, shit! <laughs> oh, <laughs> crap! Yeah. I think from Destiny 1, as everyone that played Destiny 1, when I first met Aldrin and stuff, um, You need a key! Like, I was like, give me the I key. can't wait to shoot you in and the And then you, you give it him, you do that Minotaur gate lord, he's like, oh dear, what a shame, it's dead! <sighs> Just the knob. And then but he's I, like, I give him the key anyway. I disliked him massively. But um, I wanted to kill him from the time I met him in D1. I thought he was an absolute cocker. And when we actually got to pop him in Forsaken, I was shocked. But then, obviously, when you see the the little mini cutscene of when he gets revived as a guardian, mm. I sat there and thought, this must be some sort of sick joke. And he got rid of the <laughs> most hated guy for him to come back as a good guy. Which... It was sick, I've though, because it was a random it cutscene just... Plunked in I've never seen reset. something like that happen before, where someone was so hated and was topped by you to then come back and work with you. I think, I think it offers an weird. interesting uh, like way of looking at how Guardians operate anyway, because it's like, I knew this guy, I spent a lot of effort hunting him down because he killed my bestie, but now he doesn't remember who he is, and is technically, and could be considered a completely different person. Because you got to remember, I think there's Tekuans with the... <clears throat> with the... Oh, God. There's Tekuans who remember Zavala before he was the Zavala we all know and love. Oh, From, yeah. like, before he was... Yeah, before he was turned into a guardian. Did you say love? Tolerate. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> He's a Titan Vanguard, no? He's a Titan Vanguard, and he is the originator of one of the best Destiny memes ever. Indeed. Whether we yeah, wanted okay. to or not. He, okay, he's got one of the best Destiny memes, but honestly, when it comes to choosing between the Vanguard and the Gap and the Drifter, I went with the Drifter, mate. Oh, I, I went with the. Fucking I went bad. with Vanguard. I don't I went want with the oh, Vanguard as well. Mm. I'm a rebel, mate. That's what. Well. The Praxic Order, sick. like Snitches. Praxic Snitches. Fire Snitches. Exotic was sick, so I was like, yeah. yeah. I was just like, I was like, hey, it's like, you stay there, creepy little gambit, man. You you do your stuff. I don't care. Be being called snitch. It's better than brother. Uh, uh, hey, bro. Fuck off. Like, I'll, I'll be called oh, man. Oh, God. No, no. Imagine that. Hulk Hogan being the drifter. 
<laughs> oh mate, I'd love I'd, I'd Come on, brother. <laughs> Get the moats, brother. Get those moats, no, like, brother. <laughs> I'll tell you this now. Um I think the you know, drifter, like obviously light or dark, he's not bothered. No. And to Viola's like, oh, you shouldn't really be using the darkness. Like, I think there's going to come a point where that choice is going to impact us. The line between that, darkness and light is so is very so thin. thin. Do you yeah. know what side you're on? And then apparently no Guardian shoots him, but mine doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely know my Guardian shot him straight in the fucking face. Not between <laughs> the arm. But no, um, I think Spider's obviously being a dick as he is, just yeah. Yeah. being how he is. He's the pro is just dick. trying to do his thing and try and help everybody and be the best. It's like when you do brood holes and he's being a dick yeah. about a strike. I yeah. Yeah. sir. What did I you do? You just told oh. us about it. It you was all about just mites. Mites and yeah. maybes and all this sort of thing. It's like, dude, we beat the shit out of Croto for a weekly basis. What are you doing well, the here? The Drifter did something similar, didn't he? In Warden's... Uh... More than nothing. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. yeah. And like, Ghost is like, I want to show and it. You already had your cut. To be fair. Yeah, though, but that's that's Drifter. It's just like yeah, he's an arsehole. It's like you sort of expect it. Yeah. From why him. would you? Drifter, why would you Drifter's side with him? You know. Yeah. He's an arsehole. Yeah. He's just straight with you. I, I love. But, I thought he was <laughs> my issue with Spider was that he's got this sense of like, aha, I've got something over you, so I can make you dance to my tune. Ah, ah. But he's constantly like, holding a ghost, a dead ghost. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just, and you're just sitting there saying, it's like, I've got like a notepad here saying the number of gods I have killed. I think I'm up to four now, maybe five. Oh, I could take your ghost toy. Like honestly, like, <laughs> I genuinely think if we went in there with a gun and I just pointed it at him, he'd crap his pants all over the place. He got That's you to I gather think... dead ghosts for ages as well. We're not yeah, going to question him about that. Oh no! Was it? Doesn't he? He had a little bit in the. He has a little bit in the uh, the new campaign stuff, and apparently, because I was like, I was, I heard this like, oh, maybe he's a bit. He sounds a bit afraid of you, new power. And I was like, okay, cool. I get to that bit, listen to it. And I was like, yeah, he does sound like he's a bit freaked out with us now. And I was like, really, it's taking you this long. <laughs> I think, I think with this world in new stages, he wants us to be his friend. Mm. I think, I think he's. He wants to. He still wants to he's be out. He's being to have cautious sort of thing, now. But... Yeah, to what he yeah, says. He, he's cautious. He, but he still wants to use us. Yeah. He doesn't want to end up as a strike boss. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. He's just in his chair boss. constantly, just throwing I, dead I, I, ghosts at you. I, I would love to see. I would love to see how he would get out of that chair and fight. But all I can picture is Jabba the Hutt whenever I see him. He'd just be the spider because his chair's got legs, isn't it? Mate. He ain't gonna do nothing. Mm. Okay. I don't think he'll do anything in that situation. Yeah. Obviously, oh, well. and then we move from him to Osiris. Osiris is looking out for the crow. He knows Spider's mm. a duck tosser, but he, I think, he uses Spider for his for his own means of what he needs. And because Osiris is such a badass, he can just get what he needs yeah. out of him. And then, yeah. I wonder if like. When there's like either a break with the triangle ship's darkness over Mercury, that you can actually go back into the infinite forest and find a timeline or some sort of occurrence where you can get Segura back or something like that by using the traveler potentially. I don't know because no one's there's always I'm... been concept art of ships flying into the traveler from the underneath, but we've never done it. <laughs> and that'd when be, that'd be gone. You mentioned that idea, and it's like, I can see that in a future season, and it's a saint actually leading the way to do it, and repayment for what he helped in a season of yeah. Worthy, yeah. Season the, of the Worthy. Cyrus in the uh, chat in the, the room again to mention that for the fifth time. He's always uh, saying how he feels sorry for Saint and bringing him back from the timeline and saying he shouldn't have messed with history, otherwise, like... Saint wouldn't have been there or not or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, but now I, Saint I, gets I, to feed pigeons. I, per, <laughs> I personally think that Saint's going to give his life so Osiris can get his ghost back. Because I think mm. at the moment, Saint's only there for trials. True. Yeah. He's only there for trials. And if Osiris hasn't got a planet or anything to do, 
bringing Osiris back for trials would be ideal. I know a lot of spoilers to do with some stuff, but no, no more after Friday, and hopefully we'll get Mr. Bacon through the raid, because you'll understand a little bit more to the story. Yeah. Because there's a lot so of I'm stuff. Trying, I'm trying to keep a... <laughs> I'm trying to keep away from like serious story spoilers, but yeah, I'm already yeah, yeah. hearing that. I'm just that. saying, like, I, I, you need to... I already, I already know like who the final boss is, and apparently it's like the fifth time he's showed up since a strike. Yeah. Yes. We'll, we won't say who it is because people might be watching yeah. and may not have been yeah. in the raid. But yeah, the motherfucker yeah. just doesn't stop coming back. <laughs> oh, See, I was, I was fully expecting is like the final boss of the Deep Stone Crypt was going to be a XO version of Aramis. That's what I was honestly yeah, expecting. I thought that as well. I thought, but, I thought that'd be like, kind of cool. Obviously not. But oh well. <laughs> Opportunity I... missed. She's just going to be mean... permanently frozen, looking at the triangle ship. Oh, I, I think at some point she's going to. She's going to be back for summit. We were told that we were going to get the pyramid as a public space as well. Oh. Because you're meant to be able to use that the art structure where you get your shards. The, you the might not be you might yeah, yeah. You might not be able to teleport into the triangle ship via that and explore it. Okay. I'm be intrigued. They might it release has, uh... Are they going to is going to be enemies on it or is it just you run around on the they just say it's going to. It be might a be. It might be something they do area. later on in the year, or next year with the next. I'm wondering, expansion. is it already a thing in the EXO challenges? Because all those structures are yeah. literally like almost like the same texture as Bloom t uh, yeah, structures. They... Yeah, yeah, I, I was, yeah, I was doing that. I was just like, this isn't. It's not VEX architecture, but it does look kind of familiar. And I thought, well, maybe it's yeah. the pyramid stuff. Could thing be. is, even if it is the pyramid stuff, it's supposed to be Clovis Bray's sort of like simulations, isn't it? Mm, yeah. It's supposed to be. So uh, has he been inside the darkness ships more than we have and he's simulating through stasis and that sort of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, have you done all the exos, Mr. Bacon? I've done two so far. I actually quite yeah. like them. Yeah, they are. The, I yeah. feel sorry for a lot of the exos. Like... Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, you need to do this jumping puzzle and face off Vex. It's like, oh, great. oh, this challenge. I mean, the, uh, the challenge. scanning. Oh, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been finding them. Just listen to them. It's like, God, close it. Ray is such a bastard. <laughs> I can understand what the stranger's on about now. The thing is, all, all the time from Destiny 1, I thought, oh, Clovis Bray must have been a pioneer. I like, you know, he did all these great things, like, obviously, when he was on Mars and stuff. And then, obviously, then we come back to Mars, we did the next DLC, and you obviously mm. have all the Clovis Brays. You think, whoa, Clovis Bray, like, you know, he he he's done amazing it's like things. like Iron Man, but not. <laughs> it's like, like, like uh, he made far. Rasputin. He did all this cool stuff. You've got Stephen Fry to be an AI <laughs> voice. Amazing. You are too close to the core. Okay. okay. I, I recognise that. Who's that? Stephen Fry? Yeah. Oh, my Stephen God. Fry. And then How far fucking... are you in the Lemon uh, quest? Have you uh, done it? I finished. I've fi I've done it. Because literally yeah, the it. whole premises of that thing: prove yourself to Clovis Bray, kill Vex, kill yeah. Vex, finish with Vex. Oh, the the Vex are coming after my laboratory. God, it's all uh, your fault. It's you all your fault. You were destroying Vex. Vex it's like you, you, you offered me the shinies. <laughs> what do you expect? Asshole. <laughs> I will it's provide like, a tank, and it's like that <laughs> fluorescent the... yellow thing. Yeah. Oh, that was a fun one. It's like, oh, how many Vex do I need to kill? Oh, it's a percentage. I'll just run over a bunch. <laughs> Managed to run over a Cyclops by just running into it three times. Nice. It was just like, uh, let's see how it works. Someone uh, joined our Dragmund episode, and we're not going to mention that one because it's a future episode and it'd be 100% spoilers, so... <laughs> yes. Yeah. So without saying no saying so, because I'm, I'm thinking maybe he's going to mention it, but... Not allowed. Not allowed. Not edited it Not yet. Allowed. <laughs> My lips are sealed. But it was a no, good mission. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're talking think, new I content. Or I return whole, content. Um, Sorry. I think, I, no, I think what you're saying, the drip the drip feeding of content has been very good. Mm. Yeah. And the lament is broken. Oh. Really bad. <laughs> Obviously as a kid, Yeah, see. <laughs> see the thing is I'm a I'm I'm a forty K fan. I really enjoyed it. And when I saw this, 
like the trailer for the neck for the expansion and so on. It's like, okay, cool. It's like, what's that? A chainsaw. I want it. I want it so badly. And it's got anti barrier. It's got. <laughs> oh my god! It's like a <laughs> ah. Quick! I need to get a Titan armor build that makes me look like a space marine now. Has anyone Would seen you... any of the new Callus as well? We've only seen yeah, Leviathan's breath come out, but there's apparently four of us or six, uh, five of us actually. It's meant to Is be that? six. Didn't know about that. We've got one out of six. One of six. Ooh. But I'm thinking it might be, yeah, time locked or community yeah. based locked or something. Yeah. It'll, it'll probably it'll probably be you'll have to do something specific with that weapon, and they haven't released yeah. what it is you've got to do yet. Do you know you don't have to get kills with the Leviathan's Breath to unlock the uh, progression? You just do Wrathbone hunts, is what I've been doing. Oh, oh do you? Yeah, because yeah, cool. yeah, you know when you go on the mods, on the, uh, actually you need to unlock it on the season pass. I don't know what level it is. I'll probably put it up on the screen if people are interested in that, but... It's literally a reward off one of the uh, Wrathborn mod things on your uh, your lure. I don't want to say lore because everyone thinks, are you talking about the story or are you talking about the the big metal thing that you put in the ground? <laughs> the lore. The lore. The lure. It's, the, it's one of the Wrathborn ones. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think it might be... Where is it? It's progression to catalyst. It... it might be like above seventy. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Because I'm a hundred and seven on the season pass. I wonder if one of the five remaining ones will be for Jotun. Well, Jotun like, what's the progression? No, no. But I can see like if they did, it's like what's the progression? It's like how many players have you made rage quit? <laughs> oh mate, <laughs> they haven't made bastions yet, yet, mate. Bastion, oh, no. Jotun, Lemonarch. Uh... What's the name well, of the auto rifle? Can't remember now. They got Cerberus plus one callus, don't they? They got Cerberus. Yeah, that, that's been, that's already Cerus, been happening. Uh, They've got a uh, sweet, oh, sweet yeah, business uh, one. Monte Carlo. Sweet business. Sorry? Monte, Monte Carlo. Carlo. Yeah, Monte Carlo. I, I laugh broke. if it's just stability. <laughs> You, you it's know, already you know, stable you know, as fuck. You know, Monte Carlo with the new stasis super. It's pretty naughty with the Ooh, melee. I need to. Try. I might actually try that out. Actually, break it out, put it. It's supposed to be bring up to light. Yeah. Speaking. No, you don't have to PVP control. You don't have to bring it up to light, mate. Ah. There's no okay. light thing, so you can use anything you fancy using. That's pretty good. Big brain. I think about that. No, I, I do quite like the uh, no time to explain pulse rifle. You're oh, you're you're, com oh, oh, oh. you're completely right. As soon as get as soon as got the callus unlocked, I was like, I love this gun, <laughs> mate. I tell you this now. I've told so many people use it in crucible. I can use it in crucible, mm. mate. It's a dirty thing you'll ever do. If you if you can hit headshots, mate, people just die. You just lay them to the head and they just fall over. Yeah, so yeah. I win. Really mate, I love it. And I'll if you, I found you can it. get enough, if you get enough critical shots and you get the time chasm active, mm. good in crucible. If it, you're shooting someone and the time chasm just peppering them as well, so I have no time to no yeah. time to do anything. That's good. Man, well, no time to explain. <laughs> hey, no, I like I like it in the <laughs> PvP applica PVE applications because it's like if you're dealing with any of the uh, slow grenades mines that you get from Fallen, it's like they pop off and you've got the uh, time chasm open. It will pop the 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 uh, mine before yeah. it detonates. And I was just like, oh, that's quite handy. I quite like that. But it is really is quite annoying when you're trying to do specific things like saying, I need to get finishers on Vex. Hey, and this thing's coming up and killing them all Five before I get to do it. Why are you stealing my kills? I knew he was going to say it. Yeah. You mentioned it last time to some other uh, people, though. <laughs> I think no. you, Bacon was there when you mentioned it as well. Yeah, yeah, I was there. It was like, oh, yeah. So for anybody watching the podcast that hasn't, hasn't heard me say this, <laughs> When me and Trob were first initially playing together and I was really, really, really enjoying my No Time to Explain, I would shoot enemies with No Time to Explain and I'd get the Time Chasm and then I'd be like, oh, I need to do finishes in this. Forget that I had the Time Chasm active and then I'd run in and try and get a finish. I'm like, Trob, why are you staying in my kills? I need to get finishes. He's like, I'm not a block. You obviously are. Then like, I realized that on the other thing. side of the map to him. <laughs> yeah, then I realised I had that thing over my head and was like... I was talking to Varix once yeah. and you were like, Trob, stop staying in my kills. 
talking to Varix. What do you mean? You're just that good. <laughs> just, just that good, mate. That's how just that good. Just that good. I'm your so, time yeah, vortex. Um, so right. I am stupid. Yeah. Basically. How are you find? How are you guys finding the return of the Cosmodrone? It's good. Oh, I'll run it. I just run. don't like that guy who sells you the bounties. Is too happy. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just, just like you look. It, you, it's like you're in the wrong end of the uncanny valley, there, mate. He's just smiling just, all the time. No one ever smiles a, in the fucking game. It's the only you guy. Might have to bring up, you might have to bring up like Bungie supports. Like, dear Bungie, please give this dude a helmet. You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> he has a helmet in the new light campaign, doesn't he? And then he takes it off. I'm not, I'm not quite lie. sure. I'm not gonna lie. I just want to. I just want to. Just want to put this out there. Why? With a, with a, with a big capital W, right? Is he stood? Where there's enemies not far away from him, and he's not fighting them. Like, why didn't they put him somewhere where they'd have nobody anywhere near him? Like he's he's basically in battleground territory. He's got it's a because... barricade of boxes, but he's got a barricade and he's a hunter. That's all you need to know about. He's also got the uh, spine of whatever it's called. Ah, the ah, trip mine. The sp- yeah. Trip mine yeah, needs me. He's a he's a gunslinger guy. You'll be fine. It's just like, oh, we got this new patro- we got this old new patrol area and we need someone to do bounties and Devram K is already taken. Why couldn't they just shifted the uh, spawn so the spawn was that where that guy is now and just put him up there? Because there's no ads up there. Yeah. No. He does I have think... a fancy golden box filled with loot though. <laughs> well, a regional chest. No, it's like you go in there and pay, I don't know. X amount of glimmer, and it's like, oh, you get stuff, and it's like, oh, that's neat. A blue? Yeah, the box. Yeah, you box. You get some stuff out. I of don't box. know this box. It's right next to him. So you go up to him, talk to him. You turn around and go back into his copy hold, okay. and it's right there. No. You go. You go. You go into. After it. this, okay. you show me where it is, and I put it on the thing. Yeah, but mm-hmm. we'll show you where the box is. I'll show you yeah. where these boxes. It's not bad. To be fair, Cosmodrome. First thing I did. I think I talked about it before. First thing me and Trouble did, straight underneath, see if there's question mark notes under there. <laughs> to which we saw at this point that there wasn't, but I did go back to Trouble another day and there is knights down there. Just the fact that a blue breed killed him before we got down there. <laughs> oh, okay. I was, I was looking... Uh, go on. I went looking for the OG loot cave. Couldn't find it. We. I couldn't remember there. where it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know it's there. So... I know it's there, but I can't remember where it is. Oh. Right, after this, we'll show the box and we'll show you where the loot cave is. And, and Randall, if you don't know where he is. Because <laughs> I know where he is. Because I made a mistake and got it wrong the first time, but Trouble knows where he is. I was uh, exploiting the new lo- loot cave, but they patched it. I want oh. to use my loot cave. It's like uh, in the Divide. You literally stayed in an entranceway and they spawned there. <laughs> it's, it's... Oh, mate. I remember the OG one from like the Destiny 1 days. So like yeah. me and a mate from uni would just stand outside. I was like, right, stand here, shoot into that cave when dudes come out, and then you get loot. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and it worked. And then they patched it out. But then Bungie thought, it was like, people, like, community got around this pretty cool, this thing. So like, let's just put a pile of corpses that you can interact with that makes creepy noises. And I was just like, yes. <laughs> yes. One of, the, one of the best things that they put into the game. Look, this is, this is fact. Yeah. Like, but no uh, like Sepix Prime or what it was called. Oh, mate. Oh. No Sabre Strike. Man over here. <laughs> so when we first did it, I can't remember if it's one of the episodes of Dragmund or not. We go to the Cosmodrome and I start complaining. There's a fucking wall blocking <laughs> us out from where Sepix Prime and that would be. I'm like, no, there's no wall here. Might be second this or third exist. episode. Let us delete this wall and let us go all the way through. To separate, nah. If they'd have made it so you could do a full circle of the map like you used to, but I think it would have been too big for them. I hope yeah. they're bringing separate from They were. They, a... they did say that they were bringing back in stages. Oh, if they bring it all the way back, I'll be like, yeah. Was the uh, well, the area where the Siva place was that would probably be zero hour place? Mm. In fairness, was... it's only one thing, one thing that I want to come back now in Destiny, more than anything. Venus. 
but absolutely love they things are about it in Destiny 1. Well, Vault they are they're glass. bringing back the Vault of Glass. Yeah, yeah they are bringing Vault of Glass back, so... But I assume yeah, it'll just be back. purely the raid and they'll just block it off with car carcasses or whatever. There's rocks. There's a What's big landslide and there's nothing left. It's just rocks now. Or just a big What's pile that? of X and in the distance you can hear Saint 14 just laughing. Or <laughs> you just have a pigeon on it. How did the pigeon sure. get to Venus? <laughs> I think... Uh... Well, they just get a guardian oh. saying, oh, you can't go this way. And every time you try, it just like gets in your way like Legend of Zelda. <laughs> It was just a tiny <laughs> pigeon. Yeah. Tiny so, pigeon with a helmet of Saint-14. <laughs> <laughs> just keeps putting bubbles up. Nope. 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 And then Steve. you get too far and one just shoulder charges you and yeets you. <laughs> uh, you get you get too far. It's like, oh, this is really cool. And then Ava Levante just comes up and clothesline you. <laughs> What's that? Like, on the way down. Space yeah. Granny, as <laughs> she's called on this channel. For some Space reason. Granny. Rory, yeah, space, granny. <laughs> space Granny, who somehow Shax is afraid of. <laughs> I, I, I think she's super powerful and no one knows. She's like absolutely yeah. OG. I, I remember this back um, again back when the game first came out, the Destiny 1 days. was like somebody on, I think it was Reddit, came up with the idea. It's like, you know, why is she all here and so like blase about it? But it turns out like she's an old school crucible veteran. <laughs> And it sort of explains a bit of everything. It's just like, yeah. And then people ran with it. I think uh, Destiny once she sold shaders. Dragon, you you, you you look a bit you look a bit skeptical. I, I don't about really that, like her because she was like she came out in Solstice this uh, year, and then after Solstice she came back for a uh, haunted forest, and she's like, it's almost been a whole year. I was like, a whole year? Do you mean two months ago when you? got me to do those other things in the EAZ. Do you mean a whole year? Bloody... I think you meant a whole year that. since the last... The last <laughs> yeah, the that's, that's, that's how I interpret it, but then it's like, they probably keep the dialogue on file and don't change it much. <laughs> Rob, are you really think that Bungie are going to get somebody back into voice record? Bungie are a green, green company and every cycle content, mate. Don't... They're not doing anything yeah. in office, though, because the new Zavala lines are in his closet, apparently. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen him on Twitter. He did. He's an absolute genius. Oh, yeah. You know what? I don't like the same. see clothes <laughs> everywhere, and it's like I'm doing the Zavala. Yeah, yeah, it was the same. Th it was the same thing um, with uh, Drifter. When you go to do that quest to get uh, that grenade, the grenade launcher. Yeah, it's like when you have Ghost pretending to be Drifter. It's like they had a bit of a scheduling conflict, and it's like <laughs> oh, we can't get the normal voice actor. Oh, let's get Nolan North. He's available. <laughs> he could just and they take actually. This. They had to tell him, it's like, look, your impression of the Drifter is really, really good. Can you please tone it down a bit? <laughs> you so sound cheap. spot on. It's, you sound too spot on. Make it sound a bit shit. It's like, okay. Oh, that was Mate, a fun to be mission. fair, that quest for that gun with that with the ghost doing the voice made me laugh yeah. so much. Yeah. It, it's got to be one of the best pokey, po pokey fun moments for the game. I think you can replay it because you keep you passing can, yeah. by... The uh, two, the flag boy. Two flags. Go speak to Once you do the Lament quest as well, you can keep it yeah. playing that if you wanted to as well. Oh, okay. Oh. So if you, did, if you died a lot in the first one when you did it, you can play it again. <laughs> Flawless. <laughs> yeah. Or if a so uh, I... Bray Tech frame <laughs> pushes you off the edge, no. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, what's that? A quest to kill Vex on Europa? I'll just I'll just do this quest, this mission again. Mate, I swear Done. that that has got to have been one of the most powerful. Kill Vex. Get finishes on Vex. Kill some more Vex. Help, oh, guys. Man. They're raiding my house. <laughs> it's well, your you fault, just Guardian. To, you just got us to absolutely terror the shit out of them, and now they're coming to get you. It's like, absolute no, it's like look, mate, you just you told us to go driving around the neighborhood, knocking off the knocking off the post boxes of the Vex. What did you expect was going to happen? <laughs> Here's a big chainsaw. Just cut them off. Okay. It was like, okay. I'm going to repair the blade of this there? giant orange beam. Don't touch it whilst you're defending it, Guardian. Oh, it's ready now, Guardian. And he just gives you a load of heavy. Thank you. Like, I could have used that heavy before, but thank you. That yeah. sword, that that sword is just ridiculous. Like, like 
the perk is just sitting you know, on increased damage shield bypass adds uh barrier shield piercing to all attacks, which is cool. Uh gain stacks when dealing damage with revved attacks. Additional stacks increase damage and damage resistance of heavy attacks. They always needed another barrier weapon though, because Overload's got quite a few. Oh yeah. I know Divinity is broken for Overload champions. Yeah, you, you just, just tap them once trigger. and they're done. The only Ooh. thing, the only thing that gets me with Overload champions is you can Auto. throw a grenade at them and it'll land on them and they'll just fuck off out the grenade and you like. Well, yeah, I this, was when I was. This doing is where a... you bring out. No, sorry, this is where you bring out uh, the new stasis grenade that just freezes them on the spot. That glitches them out in that. the legendary lost sexes though, because you freeze them, but it doesn't stun them. And sometimes, if you freeze and stun them in a legendary lost sector, sometimes this happens. He's stunned, but he still walks around and hits you. Ah. So that's what happened to me. I threw the grenade. He'd it, it come up with a thing saying he was fucked. I went around the corner and he absolutely levered me up the wall. He just punches like, you. He can't actually shoot you. Oh. Sometimes he can, though. But with the auto oh. rifle, you're shooting at the overload champion, and it shows the animation of the overload shot, but nothing happens. Yeah. So, they need to overload, look at overloads. Well, overload champions are just annoying. So you've got captains with the captains vets, are broke. Minotaurs, which are just as broken as well. What is it with the hive for overload? Is it knights? Uh, They're unstoppable and barrier. Yeah. Yeah. Unstoppable ogre. So you don't, so you don't get barrier. overloads there. No. And then no. fall, fallen mm. its captains, minotaurs. I, don't, I think it's just to stop him on a barrier with uh, with Cabal as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, do you get unstoppable Vex? No. No. You I think fallen. each enemy type you get two. Yeah, yeah from, two. You get two two champion types. Yeah. So I, think, I like uh, I like unless... I like the Overload Swords mod when we had it. It was fantastic yeah. for those. Uh, unless they bring champions. out an unstoppable brig. Oh, oh Jesus! I love the way both times went. Oh God! <laughs> oh. Unstoppable. I don't. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm. I'm not a big fan of the bricks that you get in control areas. Oh, oh God! No, no. Unstoppable no. wyvern. There you go. <laughs> like. <laughs> actually, actually, no. Unstoppable wyvern means that you could probably counter charge them if you've got the unstoppable uh, melee mod on. Well, if they go up in the the sky and you're just oh easy pickings, just stun them and they just flop down. <laughs> <laughs> two words, two words. Peregrine Greaves. Oh? Soda shoulder charge. Oh, also, like, like yeah. when a, a, a wyvern goes up in the air, do not go behind it. Just run at it, because it can never go down straight away. It has to mm. do a diagonal. So if you run straight at it as it goes up, it can't hit you. Don't go backwards yep. on yourself, because it's diagonal, mate. It can get you. Okay. <laughs> just okay, run at it. I was thinking more of like the cinematic thing. He's about to charge it. So, like, oh, I'll charge you first then. Yeah. See, but then I think they're immune that. when they do that anyway. <laughs> so in Glassway, they did that to me the other day. And I had my lament and I was like... And he come down, slammed in front of me and I was like... Right. Glassway is a bit broken though because if they hit the stairs, they just ping off. They don't like inclines. Yep. If they slam on a straight, that's fine because they they do like a little slide. What, so... They do it on a staircase or a slope. They're just because one just spawned so... and then it hit the side of the buff area and just went straight to the spawn area. So what you're saying the is area. the new Vex unit does not like Vex architecture. No, no, not in <laughs> inclines. It's terrible. Uh, I'll tell you it has to be a straight. So they put Briggs in for fallen, which. And not too bad, to be fair. We can deal Brinkman. with them. They're pretty dealable yeah. with Brinkman. Yeah. The ostriches are so stupidly overpowered. They can walk, they can fire big, massive, heavy weapons, and then they can yeet themselves at you. Yeah. I'm yeah. Come at you, boy. Whoever invented that in Bungie literally sat there and thought about that for a long time. Thought it really literally, the projectiles keep going outwards as well. I feel but, like they're smart, because if like you're quite close, they just keep coming at you but they actually it's go like this purple beam, or it splits into like four yeah 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 the further like, oh. you were away yeah. yeah i can see I, I can see now why you're so like terrified of them and in the legendary lost like, yeah, sectors 
For Vex, there's a modifier. Void Singe is a thing. And Airborne's a thing. So you're in the sky with your Peregrine Greaves and a Wyvern hits you, you're probably dead. Oh, bless. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I try. Well, no, because that be, wouldn't be grounded. Because grounded is when you're supposed to stay on the ground, isn't it? Take yeah, because if you're in the yeah, air with your yeah. Peregrine Greaves trying to get bonus crit damage because you have to be airborne, then it won't work, will it? Mm. I don't, to be honest, I'm in, in, in a Legend of the Lost Sector, I'm not trying to show charge anything, mate. That's, <laughs> that's a fact. thing is, is you can't do Titans finishes do? on them. Hmm? You can what? do finishes on them yeah, you after can, a yeah. while. Yeah. yeah, which is yeah. quite handy. Half health, to be fair, though, isn't it? I think... Huh? You half can do it on half health. health. Yeah. I yeah. think it's a yeah. I'm surprised you can't do a finisher on a brig. I'll be I'll, I'll be interested to see if they do make it a thing where you can do a finisher I, on a brig. It'd be a bit ridiculous because you'd just be headbutting the the knee. <laughs> what you go smack, mate? <laughs> yeah. Going back oh, to the uh, ostrich, the did you know about something to expose its crit? Yeah, if you shoot it just on the eye thing... It yeah, you shoot the little eyes, it'll move it up, and then you just shoot the crit. Okay. Not many people know that. There's I a big it's... crit on the back as well. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's like the big crit point on the back if you can get it. But they actually use eye, their eye... fans as shields for their goblin friends as well. Fucking idiot. Yeah, because I was doing sniper kills with my adored, and I tried to shoot a harpy, and it went back here. Yeah. Peacock. <laughs> I'm a peacock He's like, bitch. No, no. <laughs> you shall not pass. It's like fucking dickhead. I'm like, I don't care. I've got anti barrier mod on. To be you fair, that is a, anti barrier is the best mod ever. Yeah. When you got a pulse rifle, because you could just shoot through Hydra shields. Yeah. Yeah. And God, especially yeah. no time to explain. It's just like or, shield outbreak. Mine and Trouble's other personal favorite outbreak. It's so good. Because you can stack mm -hmm. nanites with the anti barrier as well. I use it in every legendary lost sector. I don't I don't think they intended that to happen, but that's what's happening. Yeah. I think the best thing about them. Yeah. I think the best thing about the uh weapon the champion mods they did is like switching them take them off from as an actual weapon mod, turn it to an armor mod. You just stick to your arms. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like that, that that's that. like that, that that helps a lot yeah. in terms you know of what? like if you what your load are gonna be. Because if you go onto your arm mod, the only thing you can have is loader or dexterity. I'll happily give up loader or dexterity for barrier mods. I literally will happily do that. It's not an issue. Well, that's what I'm running around at the moment. It's like I've got the anti barrier pulse rifle and a shotgun loader. Use outbreak, mate. Because anti barrier. I don't. I don't that's, the, that's the thing. I do not. I do not have outbreak. I was like during uh, last season. I was thinking, oh, I might ask around, get some help, try and get done, get it done, and never got around to it. What the fuck is wrong? Bro, you're looking at the super. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Hi. But then I stopped. I stopped playing Destiny about a month before the new stuff came around and started playing uh, Civ Six. Look at his face. Noel's not happy. Just <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am disappointed with myself because it's like I've missed my chance. So, oh, well. well, I'm what? writing this down now. When Zara R comes back, Bacon is Bacon, the first sir. one. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to pull him out of that deep stone crypt raid that he's going to do during the time <laughs> and do the zero. Oh. I've written it down and I've underlined it a lot of times. I'm going to get bullied into this. It's like, zero hours back, back. we're doing it. It's like, oh God. It'll be like, it's happening now, we're going in. <laughs> Even if it's different, we're doing it with you. Oh. Me trouble. Look. We'll wing it, we'll make it work. <laughs> Because like I was going to say, if you stack the nanites on the barrier Sevator or whatever, it's one burst to disable its shields. Because you're doing 2,000 damage with max nanites Ooh. per shot or whatever. Once you get, Yeah, once you get the nanites going and you hit it, mate, it's fucked. And your teammate's doing it. Double to max, you know, mm. quick to max. Yep. Yep, that would work. No, meantime. <laughs> We almost forgot. Oh, well, you forgot. Oh, I'm so glad to have remembered because I do like I do like a good meme. I, I told I told him on Tuesday. Like yeah, I've I've been yeah. You told me on Tuesday. I found a couple. Send, uh, send them to me via Discord, and then no. I'll send it to. I Carl. was going to add. I was going to add them because uh, to the video call because there's a chat so function. Can you see, can you see this up, wall here, Mr. Bacon? Yeah, okay. Yeah. The wall here. Unless... What's going to happen now is uh... I'm 
gonna start oh. ranking people's memes, how good they are. Look, look, the look. So you'll be at the top now. I'm gonna start okay. ranking people. So I see how good people. Do you know like are. Top Gear? Oh like yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. Build on his wall. To leave them and yeah. rank the memes. Because my wall's gonna just be this wall's just gonna be tribal dragons and then tiny little things underneath. So including... I'm gonna get some form of board to put there. All right. Uh, I did not make any of these. Okay. Um, I said I, I did what I said I was going to do on Tuesday, and that was I went to Reddit and had a look. Do you want to add us on Facebook and then we make a group chat? Because then we can do it easier. Now's meme time. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that thing all about? <laughs> that like a, like a dying goose or something? Oh, cool. I could just make that your thumbnail. What, me just looking like a goose? Right. <laughs> sure. Yes, She's so kind. Oh, One so, at a so time good. as well. One at a time, okay. Unless you want them all to be there and then he just laugh at all no, no, of no, them, no. but one at a send, time is preferred. Send them one at a time so then I can react to them individually. Same with me, I react as well. Oh. Okay. Okay. Started reading mm. that and it's disappeared. <laughs> It get it gets a it gets a five from me out of ten. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know about Noel because he's the meme guy. <laughs> I like that. I like that. But if you've got any art as well, you can. Mm. No, <laughs> I don't. Could no. Feature That's on this wall back here. <laughs> Do you know what? Because someone <laughs> sent me something as well. I need to oh, put it up there, but because it was like it, it yeah. So yeah. You, the meme's gonna come up on the screen, but the warlock one, I was like, okay, like, this just seems like a normal post. <laughs> it was on to me, and I get twenty-seven charging now. I can ricochet indefinitely. I'm not. <laughs> and Titan's gonna have for some reason. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I like the sound of the. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, quite good. I didn't. I didn't put much effort into this. I was like, right, Reddit, Destiny memes, top week. Have a look. See what I can find. So. This is the next one that I found. Friendship ended. <laughs> this is my new best friend. <laughs> that's class. Actually. That's actually really good. <sighs> that's that's definitely that definitely hey, is tough of all, That's that, Noel's that favorite really shader as well from that season as well. Is the next There's one? Only two? Oh yes. Oh, Zvala. Oh. <laughs> Insect noises. I had to be there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Thicker than a tartan skull. <laughs> oh, I just noticed this. They got Drifter in the back going, Ooh! <laughs> Yeah, ooh! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, gotta love it. Hi, bring a sword. I don't you have a sword. Thing is, you know what I did in my head when he said insect noise? I mean... Yeah, uh, and the last one. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> that that <laughs> means the best. So <laughs> that. That's literally dull as well. On, that's never coming down. There's nothing that's going to stop that. That's the best one yet. <laughs> oh my god. Mate, that's got to hurt you in your feels, Do you know? That's got to hurt you in your See, it fits the pre I was given. It's like, it's got to be Titan memes. And I was like, making... the... and I was <laughs> like, I've heard of, I've heard of like a bit of salt coming about, about dying to the second encounter in Deepstone Crypt. And it's like, cool, I'll say this one. It's like, save. Then <laughs> oh, was... mate. You know, you know why this one's this so good? This is a contest for I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a why this one's so good. Like, so the text itself is brilliant, right? It's supposed to be Zavala, right? Yeah. Which makes it more funny, right? But then it's obviously Michael Jordan's head, <laughs> who I love as a basketball player, crying, 
and the te- just bring is such a great. This is this is absolutely class. He, that's going. I'm printing that off, and that's going top of the board. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I did not make any of these. I, well. Yeah, I you didn't make any it. of these. I just found them on you the internet. You found it, and I haven't seen it. That's class. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saving that one on my phone now. That's how much I enjoyed that one. I'm saving it. <laughs> It's probably gonna come on Discord after we're done with this. Was it? You're gonna post it on Discord, aren't you? No. <laughs> You'll probably forget tomorrow. Oh, this is a no. class theme. No one's seen this. <laughs> no one's seen this, honest. If you're watching the podcast, welcome back. This is the section of live gameplay. You won't see any cameras involved because I'm still waiting for a power cable. And we're here to find what Bacon has not seen and what I haven't seen. Yay. And then we'll go back to our face cams later. Yay. Awesome! How are you over here? Where is the box? Follow me. Go on, Mr. Beckon. Whilst Noel is floating on a chair. Oh, I'm not floating on a chair. Where is it? Aha! Where is it over here? Is Goes it not right side. here? Pay 20 Should it be? Yeah. Yes, that's the one. It is for a, for a legendary. Yep, that was it. Uh... Oh, yeah, I was trying the uh, seventh seraph build in the pit, that's the only reason I went in there. The build that I was using was really... It makes it so much easier, the pit, doing it solo. Because uh, you use uh, the build where if you pick up a 7th Seraph cell, you get charged with light and then you've got the protective light. Uh, boys, I'm, I'm just going to put this out of here. Don't you think this looks like it's going to move at some point? Yeah, because it's not textured c- correctly. What's that green thing over there at the back? In the pool over there? Acid. Looks like a space you can get to. Can you get into anything from the other side? Yeah, there's another gate here. Oh. Looks like Oops. a door or something there. Secret container. Can anyone go on Google and translate this sign that's above it, please? Or one of you guys, can you Google that by taking a picture of it and then getting it to Google Translate? Unless you have the Google Translate app and you just show it the screen and it does it for you real time. <laughs> I, I've just I've just taken a screenshot and I will do it in a moment. If I stand still here and let you go to the loot cave, I'll just stand here and quickly do it. Come on, Mr. Bacon. Yeah. Yep. Do you hear whispers as well? <laughs> A million deaths are dark enough for the master Raoul. Hey, I'm off the wall with me. What? What did it translate? Entrance. Entrance. Just entrance. <laughs> so there you go. That that's the spoilers to that area. It it's entrance. I thought it'd be a wing or some shit. Cause like this whole area is like a space top thing, isn't it? Yeah. 
Bro, the colony ships took off it. Because that was a waste of time. <laughs> well, not really, because then the audience know that it's that, so they don't have to Google it. Unless they're trying to speed run you or something. Where did you used to go? Have you gone to do Randy now? Yeah, we're at the ship here. Yeah. Wait for me! Oh, it's near the lost sector, isn't it? Yeah, it's there. Can you hold on and let me shoot you? And strike me. Wait, it's not that vandal. He's not spawned it. Oh, unless he is that vandal. No, it's not. He was here last time, I was here. Because I was trying to do the lost sector, unless the events despawned him. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. What a way to end this little segment. Um, get, get in your corner here, get in your corner, get in your corner, get in your corner, get in your corner, get in your corner. Get in your corner, okay, yeah. You ready? You ready? Fight! Oh no, lost! Oh no! Oh. It's because I'm sick. I've got, I've got a little bit of an issue. Right, it, it's, it's one nil right now. Best of three. Yeah. Get, get any corner. Get any corner. No. You ready? You ready? Fight! Is he gonna... Oh no! He hit the ground. No, no, it's done. It's done. Get in your corner again. Get in your corner. It's one, one now. You, you ready? Yeah. Ready, fires. Yeah, yeah. Fight. <gasps> no lost. Oh. Bacon wall, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've found something new to do with the guest if we want to do this as a thing. <laughs> what? Challenge if the null? guest could beat me in a sword match? Yeah. <sighs> what a dance to win as well. <laughs> His victory dance. <laughs> yeah, ran we couldn't find Randy, so uh, yeah, back to our camera people. <laughs> Yeah, camera people. Mm. <laughs> <What's it? laughs> but I hope you enjoyed episode 12 of Outbreak Bandits podcast. Yes. Thanks for yeah, our guest for being to... here on time as well. It's good. No Jesus, worries. Can... We no added worries. you as a friend Run. as well. <laughs> Yay! Fun. And man, look at we found Randall and uh, all that chest, oh. and oh, it's sick on that, that, that yeah. Destiny Live gameplay. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, it and we'll see you next week for 13. Bye. Bye. Peace Bye. out. Peace. Live long and prosper, etc. Here come the bloopers. Uh. It seem, seems like this podcast is going to be called Can Bacon Be a Soap? can be i mean it's and then tough. you've actually give me the, his cover-up photo bacon soap. Yeah. <laughs> bacon soap yeah not his face the the bacon soap oh, just a bar of bacon soap yeah. it? just a bar of bacon soap with a crown on top <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god please please <laughs> oh my god try and carve soap. like a little bit of his face in the soap and... Oh no no! Just have like beards. just have a beard. Just have a beard at the bottom. Beard with bacon soap and a crown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh mate. Oh, yeah. Tom waits <sighs> for ages. I don't know what. I'll just stop. It's... No no. I, I was gonna make another. I was gonna make another wrist movement there. Ooh. Maybe that'll be a blooper. <laughs> naughty naughty. What is bacon holding in this? Just gonna... What is bacon holding? <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's just a, it's just a cucumber. Yes, cucumber. <laughs>
imagine. If you want it to be a cucumber, sure. Uh, uh, or if uh, no I, wants I, I, it to be okay. something else, then sure. I don't. What, do I, I want to do something else? No, you you want bacon to hold something. Wait, what what were you doing with your mouth there? Who me? Um, I was in the middle of a yawn, <laughs> and I turned. I'm not. <laughs>